Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to Blakely County Royals Football here on the Royal Football Network. John Byron here along with Mr. James Hagler bringing you all the actions as the Royals have traveled to Rochelle, Georgia, home of the Wilcox County Patriots in a non-region, non-classification matchup between two pretty good football teams, James. Uh, we're getting close to being underway here. The captains are on the field. The captain, well, cat 10 for each team. Is number 10 for Wilcox would be Branson Owens and number 65. I think everybody I can't can't quite recognizes see him. that man. A uh, <laughs> uh, little small guy, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> that is, is that? a Marius Mims. He's only <laughs> six foot eight, three, 325, three, three something. Yeah. When you get over 300, it doesn't matter anymore. So. And the Patriots have won the toss and with the first, so Blakely will get the ball to start the game. And James, uh, if you look at, look at the scoreboard to our right, you'll see something that's, uh, I wish we could put up one day. 2009 state champions. Well, you don't want to put up 2009. No, 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 no. But, but the, <laughs> the state champions. Oh, yeah. I, I personally like champions in 2009 because I'm a Saints fan. They won the Super Bowl in 2009. So. For the first, uh, I guess, about 10 minutes of the third quarter, yeah. we were down 19 nothing. But uh, from that point on, with 106, we scored and uh, and 27 unanswered. Uh, yeah. the win. It was like the Royals decided, well, it's halfway through the third quarter, time to start playing, guys. Because uh, up until that point, we had another whole lot. Uh, but when they did turn it on, they turned it on. I mean, 27 unanswered, and of course, one of them was a big six, but. The Royals already had the lead at that point. Yeah. They just kind of cushioned it a bit. Well, it was 20 to 19 at that point, yeah. and then got the pick six. And, you know, with 225 to go in the games when we got the pick six and scored, and, you know, you can't expect somebody to, to be thinking, you know, oh, let me down it. We can run the clock out. Yeah. They're, they're thinking, oh, I got a touchdown. Especially you know? in high school ball, you yeah. see a wide open field in front of you. You're going to take off with it. Absolutely. But um, I'm sure the coaches might have been thinking, Neil, but. <laughs> everybody back home or wherever you're at listening and watching, uh, don't be alarmed. That was not a tornado siren you heard while ago. <laughs> Although it sounded like it. It's just uh, what they play here when their team comes running on the field and uh, we're getting ready to kick off. Blicker County, and they're all white tonight. They've got the white helmets, white jerseys, white solid white pants, snow stripes on them. Where did your purple and gold, purple numbers with a gold outline? Well, it looked like it was going to rain a little bit here, so those this, this might not be all white when we finish if that happens. I think they did get some rain, you know, not long ago. Yeah. Now, according to the radar, we're clear, clear and good to okay. go. But, you know, radar has been known to be wrong. But I know coming in, coming in, I can see it yeah. all around us. So. And Wilcox County is in their home blue and with solid white pants as well and white helmets with white numbers. And, uh, Very human night. I'm sorry, what? I said a very humid night. Yeah, I see a lot of people with the fans in there waving already. And uh, kicking off for the Patriots is number 85, Quay Miller. Not your, not your poor, typical kicker there, James. He looks like he could be playing tight end or something. <laughs> yes, he does. Or he's, be, uh, he's lining up as a straight on kicker about three yards deep. Yeah, like he's kicking a field goal at extra point. And he will kick it off. And it's a high, short, end of ring kick taken by. Uh, one of our guys at the 20, at the 25, the 30, cuts back in the middle of the field and brought down about the 31. It was number 12, Daquan uh, Eights. Daquan Eights on the return. First and 10 for their own 31, just underway here in the fourth. And we hope we have a good crowd listening tonight. Pretty decent crowd on both sides of the field tonight, James, even with the COVID-19 yeah. restrictions. For those that are still trying to get here, we're running late. If you went to the high school, you missed the field. Um, I went to the high school, which is on the other side of those trees, and there's no way to get here from there except for going back around. Right. So um, I figured that out after we came back around. So, Okay, the Royals up to the line, first and ten. They're in the spread, two wide ups to the right, one to the left. Sasser's in the shotgun with Stevens in the backfield behind him. And he'll send Butler in motion. Actually, Butler comes and gets in the backfield. He'll give it to Butler on the stretch play, trying to get him around the left side. And he can't break a tackle, and he's brought down after a gain of about a yard up to the 32. And James, he gets by that man. He has a pretty good run there. Yeah, he, he would have. He had blocks with that tackle. Yeah, um, a, uh, real quick, they're 81 degrees right now. It feels like 86. Um, low tonight, 75, so not going to drop much from where it's at. Uh, I was looking for the humidity here. 
But so um, second and nine, gain of <laughs> one. But it could have been a bigger run had he broke up one tackle. Sasser shotgun takes the snap, gives it to uh, Stevens right at the middle. He's hit hard, but falls forward to about the 33 yard line. It's going to be a gain of one again, maybe one and a half. It's going to be third down and about seven and a half, not quite eight yards. So the Royals in a passing situation here. I will say there is lightning 28 miles away. Okay. So maybe it's um, going the opposite way. <laughs> it it seems like if it takes the right angle, it'll stay north. Um, I think GHSA rule is 10 miles. Satcher looks to throw and he's hit. He breaks one tackle and he throws it here incomplete behind the line or. Or did they know. say complete? I think they called it complete, and, and that's going to be a yeah, loss. He lost back to the 29. had been better off had he dropped it. Sasser was under heavy pressure right off the bat, and uh, he actually broke one tackle, but he couldn't break the left guy to bring him down. He threw it, but uh, it was caught by Stevens behind the line, and he fell down as soon as he caught it. We give a shout-out to Luther Lucas, who said he's watching us. On the 85-inch screen TV, if you can see that. Hey, how about that? That's a pretty good picture right there. <laughs> We're moving on up in the world. Yeah. Already. So. All right. And we thanks have, for uh, tuning in, Luke. New punter this weekend, this week for Blake. It's not Fordham. That is, uh, can you read that number, James? 41. Number 41. Um, Nazario Johnson. And it's a pretty 40, good punt. 49. And it hits about the 49. 40 and takes a royal bounce inside the 35 and actually down the Angle down to 35, be down right there. It's actually number 48. Uh, Rozier on the punt. Fordham punted it last week. I don't know. Uh, well, and I, it may have been that Rozier was out last week. Yeah, uh, Fordham is the place kicker as well. But yeah. it's first and 10 right on the Patriot 35. And they Solid. have number eight, Stowe at quarterback. And he has number nine, Moore, in the backfield with him. They're in the spread. They got three wide to the left, one to the right. Stowe's in the shotgun. He takes a snap. He fakes. He's going to throw, throwing long down the right sideline. He never threw everybody out of bounds. And uh, their guy had about a half a step on ours over there. Number 25 over there, Zane Lassiter, uh, who's off the field, was closest to making that play. Yep. So second and 10 is a quick throw by Stowe. And uh, James, the head coach here is Rob Stowe. So I'm thinking father and son combination there. That's usually where the uh, coach's son is, quarterback. Yep. yep. <laughs> They go quickly, and Stowe's going to hand it to number one right in the middle. He bounces off one tackle. He's over to 40, cuts back, trying to cut back again, and he's going to be brought down around to 44. Gain on the It's like going to be about a yard short there. And that was number yard one. Yard and and a half. That was number one, Day Day Lawson. That's a different name, Day Day. And it's going to be third in the yard at the play. They're quickly to the line. They're not They're not wasting any time at all. Stowe's in the shotgun. Bucks in on the left side, two wide to the right. And he's a high snap. And Stowe follows it, but he picks it up, rolls to his right. He's under heavy rush and just throws that in the way. Almost intercepted. We don't, the only guy over there was number seven for Blakely. Tyler Wilcox. Number's not a Wilcox player nowhere near, but now, there like, comes the flag late. Flag. That's going to be intentional grounding because he was not out of the box, I don't I'm think. I'm not sure what he's calling there. He threw it very late. He's pointing at us and, and talking to the Wilcox guy, yeah. so I'm not sure if there's some extracurricular afterwards. Yes. Oh, no, yeah, it is it's it's right. Well, Stowe bobbled a snap, he and he went straight back. He didn't uh, really get out of the tackle box because the ball was on that right hash, and he was mm -hmm. standing right about the hash when he threw it. And the penalty's back to the 32-yard line. It's going to be fourth down and about 13 from right there. And it looks as though they're going to punt, and Stowe will be the punter as well. And back deep for the Royals is number, is the number six, Jenkins, and number 11, Jaden Mobley. Sean Jenkins, number six. Yeah, Jenkins wasn't on the field last week. I think no, he might have been in quarantine. I didn't find his name. I didn't remember him. Yeah, a couple, like, couple of these guys were on quarantine, I believe, last week. There's a snap. Snow will get it off. Or Snow will get it off, rather. High short punt, fair catch called far by Mobley at the Blakely 39. He'll take it right there. Kind of an over the shoulder catch, but he hung on. Well, they're going to work it on the 40, even though he was standing yeah. on the 39. So. so, first and 10 here. No score. Still early in the quarter. 9 or 3 to go in the first quarter. Both teams have had it once and went three and out. And James, we're talking about, I was pointing out a young man before they get, come on there. Number 14 for them is. Uh, Martez Thrower, he is committed to the University of Kentucky. 
He's he listed, listed as a weak side linebacker, yeah. but he's also listed on the roster as a running back. So we may see him running the ball for him next summer. But I think he's committed as a linebacker. To we may have to open the rest of these windows as humid as it is <laughs> to be able to see through and start to fog a little bit. Sasser in the shotgun. He takes a snap, he fakes, and he gives it to – Looks like Stevens behind the line. He's hit well behind the line, back around to the 37 yard line. Lost it about three. For our uh, people at home, I don't, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, we'll try and work with the zoom here again in a minute, but their uh, their down markers actually look up. It's a uh, digital, yeah, digital uh, down marker. They mark it at 38, so second down and 12. Sasser in the shotgun. Butler's behind him. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left. He'll come in motion. Sasser takes a snap, he fakes, and he flips out to the man behind the line, incomplete, and that was a forward pass, thank goodness, because he was kind of down the line, they ruled it forward, that was number nine, Brown, just couldn't pull it in. I think he tried to run before he caught it. Yeah, just a little bit in front of him, and a couple guys coming at him, so might have, might have taken his eyes off the ball there at the last second. Well, I expect to see Michael Myers coming around the corner here in a minute, <laughs> with that Halloween music playing. <laughs> Third down and 12 now, so the Royals have to get in good field position and went backwards here. Two wide outs on each side now. He'll send one man in motion, Sasser in the shotgun. He takes the snap, drops straight back, throws out the flat. It's complete, but he's hit right away. Breaks the tackle, but run out of bounds about the 42-yard line. Maybe the 41. So it'll be a game of about three, so it'll be fourth down to nine. We're going to punt this thing again. Yeah, you mentioned Michael Myers. I have a Michael Myers mask that I would wear every Halloween. A couple of years ago, I walked into uh, walked onto campus, and I didn't happen to have it with me. And I walked into one of the buildings, and I heard the music playing. They were watching the movie because uh, some of the students had never seen it. And uh, I was glad I didn't have it because I probably would have popped up and scared all of them. But I didn't know if somebody was packing. <laughs> Johnson will punt it for Blakely. McAdoo back deep for the Patriots. He'll field it on about the 23. He's up to 25, coming around the left side, trying to turn the corner. He's up to 30, 35, needs a block, up to the 45, and brought down right at midfield. So a pretty good return. That was actually uh, 48, Rozier, who's the um, who's the punter, okay. actually also made that tackle. Uh, uh, I don't think I called him Roger. I think I called him Johnson, didn't I? Because that's yeah. who I thought was punting to start with. <laughs> yeah, that's who we thought it was. It was 41, but it's 48. Okay, so first and 10 at midfield. And, boy, they go quickly. They were right up to the line. Stowe's in the shotgun. He has trips to the right, one to the left. The official finally backs off and let him run it. And he has more in the backfield with him. Takes a snap, he fakes, and he's going to throw a slant. Incomplete, threw it behind him. Had a man number 10. Quick slant. But Stowe threw it right behind him. And again, they go quickly. Boy, they're at the line, and the ball hadn't even got back yet. <laughs> Eight minutes exactly to go in the first quarter. No score. Uh, Wilcox sitting dead at midfield after the pretty good punt return from McAdoo. Stowe will go in the shotgun again. Two twins to the left, one guy to the right, and he has more in the backfield with him. He has one guy as a up. His eighth back. He'll get more on the stretch play, trying to get him around the corner. But he's at midfield. He's over 45 and brought down about the 43 yard line. Gain of about seven on the play. It's going to be third down. Actually, a gain of eight up to the 42 yard line. It's going to be third down and two from the Blakely 42. So uh, quickly to the line again. Stows in the shotgun. Twins to the left, one to the right. We don't have anybody out here. Finally, we break somebody out and hard count. We jump off sides, and that's going to give them an easy five-yard first down there. And our defense just was not ready then, James. No. Well, not only that, they were all running around. And they, all trying to get, yeah, they had two guys wide to the left. We didn't have a shot line here. About the time they run out here to cover them, that's when our interior line jumped. So it's first and ten. Wilcox from the Blickley 37. Stowe's in the shotgun. Twins to the left. Twins to the right. And Moore's in the backfield with him. He takes a snap. He fakes. He's wanting to throw. And he throws it here behind the line, complete to number one. And he's up to the 40, up to the 35. And a helmet comes off of somebody. Hey, Lawson, and he's he's Lawson on the reception. Thank you. Hey, Pope on the tackle there, and his helmet came off. He's, of the down and three for the he's going to have to leave the field for one play. The play was all the way up to the 30, gain of about seven. It's going to be second down and three. That was Johnson, I mean, Lawson coming out of the backfield. That throw just faked up. Deep throw and then dumped it out here to the flat. Now he has number six in the back foot of Mr. Larkin. They are really changing their running backs up. Stowe in the shotgun again. Takes a snap. He'll give it to Larkin up the middle. He's hit behind the line and he breaks one tackle and falls over to 30. 
maybe close to the first down. He was hit behind the line. Number 35, Austin Johnson actually made the initial hit, but couldn't hold down, hold him down, or pull him down there. But he was able to get away. Third and actually a little bit less than a yard. They're sitting at the 28, and they got to get just inside, the, just shy of the 27. Looks like third. And, let's call it a yard anyway. Stows in the shotgun, trips to the right. Takes a snap in. He fakes the Larkin. Slant over the middle. Stop. Complete in. That's going to be a touchdown for over there. Patriots. extra point now will be looks like number six Larkin will be the extra point kicker unless they're gonna they do line up in the swinging gate now they're gonna back it out and number 12 will be for the extra point that's Manny Carrillo he's not the biggest young man in the world either is he <laughs> there's a snap it's set down kick his low line drive and no good I think we got a hand on it so with 622 to go in the first quarter, Wilcox leads at six to nothing on a 27 yard or 28 yard touchdown pass from Stowe to Singletary. He just faked the Larkin and I think it drew our linebackers in and Singletary was open on a slant and yeah, he got, back there. Singletary got a good got a good position on the uh defensive back over there and you know, that had that inside position on slant and just great pass by Stowe. And, um, you know, couldn't make the tackle there and took it to the house. All right, Quay Miller will kick off here. And I can uh, take this minute to apologize to all the fans last week. We kept saying we're playing by day this week. I hope nobody went there. <laughs> I, I mean, my, I, my schedule was just all backwards. For two weeks. We'll be there in two weeks. Yeah, we got by day. Two weeks from now, actually three weeks from when I said it. <laughs> so uh, everybody that was looking for the state Indians, uh, I apologize, but we are in Rochelle. Hot Miller will kick it off high, short, end over end kick, take it bounce from about number twelve, and he can't get on it. Now he falls on it about the twenty-one yard line or twenty-two yard line. It's like a little backspin. That's eight. It's like a little backspin when he went ahead. You know, he got past him, and got through his legs, and then kicked back to him. And uh, he was lucky to fall on that because he. It's like that catcher when the ball drops right under their feet and they can't find you it. You look everywhere but right at your <laughs> yep. feet, yeah. So it's at the 22-yard line, first and 10. Boy, I tell you, James, we really need to get the ball moving. We had not got a first down yet. Matter of fact, uh, counting that last drive, we may be either negative yards or we no probably yards. probably should just fast forward to the third quarter. Yeah, just go ahead and start about <laughs> halfway through the third quarter. <laughs> Everybody All come right. back in about 45 minutes. <laughs> Sasser's in the shotgun, trips to the left, one to the right. He takes a snap and he'll fake. Throws a slant over the middle. It's incomplete. Trying to hit Mobley on the slant. Uh, we got to lay the flag, but I think that's going to be pass interference. Well, Mobley was wanting the flag, but he, I was about to say he's not going to get it, but then the back judge throws it in way late. Yeah, it, uh, he, it looked like he had it by the shoulders or something that slowed him up a little bit. So that will be a first down with the yardage. It will not be automatic, as we said before. Most yards we've got all night. Yep. Uh, our first first down uh, biggest by penalty, play. and that's what happened last week. Our first yeah. first down was by penalty. Our biggest play of the night, too. So. First and 10 from our own 37 now after the penalty interference. He had Mobley halfway open, but incomplete. Now Sasser in the backfield. Trips to the left, twins to the right. Nobody in the backfield with him. First and 10, and 13, plenty of time on the play clock. They, they have play clocks in the end zone down here, too. So, yeah. And now Stevens will shift back over to the backfield now from the slot. Now there's not position. much time, three. Sasha so takes the snap, he fakes the Steven, slant over the middle to Mobley, complete this time. Mobley's at the 50 and he can't break the tackle and he's brought down around the oh. Wilcox 45 yard line. Not the and I can't the believe there wasn't a flag going on that. I don't know if you saw that at the end of the play. Uh, Mobley was sitting up and number six just shoved him back down. He's up to the Patriots 45 yard line, first and 10 right there. James, I said we need to get something done, and we're finally moving the ball now. Yeah, last week we worked a lot outside on the pass. This week we we hit a, we tried a few slants. 
Uh, Stevens goes in motion. Sasso takes the snap. He's looking now. He's going to pull it down and roll to his right. He's going to run with it. He's over to 45 and run out of bounds around the 42 yard line. Oh, we got there a comes another hit. flag. Good. Going to be a late hit on Wilcox. That was actually a thrower um, that pushed, that shoved him late. I thought it was late, but the official on the on the spot didn't throw a flag. But the uh, well, I don't think you can the see the downfield official did yeah. throw one. He had a better angle at it to see when and it, it happened. It will be a personal foul, late hit on Wilcox. That will be fifteen more. Did you watch the uh, game last night? I saw just bits and pieces. So Miami first, and UAB. No, no, no. The uh, pro game, oh, no, the Chiefs and, I'm not watching and Texas. No <laughs> well, the, the funny thing I saw. I really that, didn't know they were on. Be honest with you. I, well. Uh, Deshaun Watson, the Texas quarterback, he was running, and uh, he went out of bounds on a play. Kind of got a little shove right there before he went out. Ended up, his momentum carried him. He sat down right next to um, Pat Mahomes, put his hand, on, patted him on the knee, and Mahomes patted him on the helmet. He got up and walked off. You could, you, when they slowed it down, you could see a smile from both of them laughing about it. But. First and 10 from the 26 after the penalty. He gives it to Butler on a stretch play. He's around the corner. He's over to 20. He's over to 15. He's down around the 10-yard line. Run out of bounds around the 10. So they run the stretch play to Butler. And that's the biggest run of the night by far for the Royals. And he's inside the 10. Or they may mark him right at the 10, looks like. If it's on the 10, it'll be first and goal. And I think it is because the chains are not, not going to set up. They're not. 525 to go in the first quarter. Wilcox leads it six to nothing, but the Royals are threatening here. First and goal from the 10. And we're in the Wildcat with Stevens. This is the first time we've seen this this year. Stevens takes the Wildcat snap. He's running off right tackle. Not much. He might have got a yard or two inside the 10. They blow it dead. They blow it dead. It's not going to count anyway. Your fault started on the Now, I tell that story about Watson and, and – um, Mahomes for the purpose that when uh, Sasha got shoved over here, he came and he ended up at their bench, kind of under it, not on it though. <laughs> now, the penalty's back to the 15. It's going to be first and goal from there. And uh, they'll wind the clock if we reach the five minute mark here in the first quarter. Once again, Wilcox six, luckily nothing, but the Royals are threatening. First and goal from the 15. That's the penalty. Again, we're in the Wildcat with Stevens back there. Eli Mullis goes in motion, and there, Stevens takes a snap, and he's straight ahead up to about the. Let's see what they put it. One official saying about the 13, the other one saying, well, yeah, I think they're both agreeing on it. Right at the 13 yard line, gain of about two. Gonna be second and goal. And let's see if they stay in the 13 yard line. I don't know if they're gonna stay in a Wildcat. No, they will not. Sasser back in at the quarterback spot. Three wideouts to the right, one to the left. Butler in the backfield with him. Hard count, and I think they jumped off sides. So we're going to get this five yards back, James. Yeah, I'm looking at you know I'm looking at our wide receivers too, and Mullis is in there um, now at the tight end, kind of they spread out a little bit, yeah. but it looks like he was covered up there, and I've seen that a couple other times where it looked like we were our inside guy was co- I mean yeah our inside guy was covered by the, too close to the line so. I want to make sure we keep an eye on that throughout the night. I mean, at least our players do, you know. All right, second goal from just inside the eight after the penalty. Sasha takes a snap. He gives it to Butler on a read, and he's trying to get up the middle, and he's not going to get much up to about the seven, maybe a gain of a yard, and that's it. I think that was Butler. I really can't see the number. No, actually, that was Stevens, 26, not 23. They, they're about the same size when you see them, and they've got numbers similar to one another. Third and goal from about the seven, gain of a yard on the plate. Three minutes and 40 seconds in counting here in the first quarter. And James, I, I guess it depends on what you get on this play if you go for it on fourth down or not. Well, we do have a pretty good field goal kicker. I would say, uh, Fordham has some good range uh, from what I've seen him warm up. Sasser takes the snap. He gives it to Butler on the stretch play, trying to get around the corner, and he's not going to make it. Somebody brought him down behind the line. Number 10, uh, Branson Owens. Back around the nine, he lost a couple. Again, that's the play where if he miss, makes that one guy miss, he's yeah. got some room, but nobody picks up that blitz in line. It was that middle linebacker, and they happened to get his foot both times. It looks yeah. like we're going to go for a field goal. And it will be four. Them at about the 16 yard line is where Sasser's going to hold it from the far hash, so he's going to have to put a little English on it. But a, about a 20 or a 26 about a 26 yard, attempt. yard attempt here. Hard count. I think they jump. It's set down. Kick is up, and it looks good from here. But I think Wilcox jumped off sides. Yep, yeah, the flag is down. They did jump. So yeah, the guy on this end. Uh, John, that's going to be right at the nine. It's going to be half the distance. So it's going to put it about the four, four and a half. 
Yeah, yeah just inside the five. But yeah. uh, this early in the game, I think Coach Slaster will probably keep it. No, he's going to pull the, the field goal team off and go for this. He's sending the offense yeah. back on the field. All right, uh, daring move here. So let's see what we do here. Fourth and goal from just inside the five. Let's make some move. 2.32 to go in the first quarter. Wilcox leads it 6 to nothing. So this is a big play in the game, even though it's early. Sasser in the shotgun. Trips to the right, one to the left, and he has Stevens in the backfield with him. It may be Butler. Fourth and goal from just inside the five. Sasser takes the snap. He fakes. They run a reverse to Mobley. He's got a wide open. Touchdown, Blakely County. They yeah. had a reverse to Mobley after he gave it to Stevens, and nobody it was over there for Wilcox. Yes, Sasser led him. It was lead blocker on that. Didn't even have to touch anybody. Yeah, they they fell for the handoff to, to Stevens, and nobody picked up the reverse, and Mobley goes in for the touchdown, and it's 6-6 six six with the extra point to come. And yeah. Well, we're, waiting on, uh, here. we're waiting on Fordham. We're waiting on Fordham. Oh, he's out there. He was okay, he was out of line. Yeah. Okay, I seen Sasser. Getting ready to hold it, but I didn't see Fordham. Yeah, kickers, kickers always bring out their okay, own Okay, he was up at the line so, yeah. of scrimmage giving the center the ball. Right, Fordham will try to get the point here. Ted Dubois is the long snapper. 2.09 to go in the quarter. Low snap. He gets it up anyway, and the kick is good. With 2.09 to go in the first quarter, but he takes a 7-6 to six lead. Uh, Four-and-a-half yard four technical, technically a four-yard run by Mobley. Or Mobley. I'm not sure if she had Mobley or Mobley. I mean, I've heard some say, we say it, if we say it both ways, we'll, just be, keep right. Alternate, alternate, we'll be right half the time. All right, uh, James, if you'll talk for just a minute. Well, never yes. Look at this. Uh, this is my son, Gage, down in Statesboro, Georgia. Look at there. He's All got right. it on his TV. Okay. So uh, we appreciate that, Gage. He's listening in way down in Statesboro. <laughs> uh, home of the, he is actually a student down there now. I'd like to remind everybody that our internet is brought to us by Chris Noble's Noble's Net. 478-308-0596. People who can't get internet, that's the place to go. I saw somebody post it today. They couldn't find internet or they needed internet in a rural area. Call Chris Nobles, Nobles Net, 478-308-0596. And we we'll appreciate, get you up. appreciate everything Mr. Chris does for us to make this broadcast possible. And again, I was mentioning my son Gage. He's uh, down in Georgia Southern. Now. We moved in there about a month ago. Okay. And, uh, down there, how, how many listeners have we got? Can you tell? 79 right now. How many? 79. 79, that's a good number. We had over 1,000 uh, 1, views last week. Uh, 900, 900 views during the game. And, uh, you know, you know, people watching it back afterwards, I know. Uh, Mike Sasser says, you know, he's, he listened to us after on Saturday morning every yep. every game last year. So he's gonna watch us and listen this year. So yep. um, uh, others, you know, some of the players like to go back and watch it and listen yeah, to us. I wonder us, how so. many people do that. I know Mike says he does it every Saturday yep. morning. I was wondering if any of the players or some of the other fans may have. If you're listening in, send us uh, send us a message uh, on the comment section of where you're listening from, whether it's uh, Cochran or if you're in the car or traveling or you know Statesboro or wherever you might be, yeah. send us a message. Anywhere in the world. Yeah, we'll uh, send out some uh, shout-outs to people. Uh, Fordham will kick it off. They got McAdoo and Lawson back deep. High end of ring kick, and it may go out of bounds up around the 15 yard line. It does. So uh, let's see if Wilcox wants to take the penalty or make them kick it again or take it on to 35. I do have, uh, uh, is it Jeffrey? Jeffrey Will listening from Atlanta. All right. And they are going to take it on the 35 yard line. 2 of 9 to go in the first quarter. Blakely leads it 7 to 6. So not the way you want to kick off after, uh, <laughs> yeah. after that, but. And you really kind of didn't want to kick it to McAdoo because he one made that long punt return earlier that yep. set up their first touchdown. All right, uh, Stowe's in the shotgun. They're ready to go. They go quickly. And you got two wideouts to the left, nobody to the right. I think the wideout is bunched in as a tight end over there. And he has Moore, number nine, in the backfield with him. 
He takes a step and he fakes the morph. Those are slant again. It's incomplete to number four. Well, Wilcox, Tyler Wilcox, number seven, with the ball, he was, he was looking to make sure to make the tackle, which is great. But he almost, uh, he could almost grab that ball. Yeah, it like it was going to be Yeah, it did. So I think he was focused on making the stop after the catch. So Wilcox has really thrown that slant a lot tonight. They scored on it once. Second and ten now. Stowe's in the shotgun again. Twins to the right, one to the left. Moore's in the backfield with him. He takes a snap. He'll give it to Moore this time on the replay, and he's hit it right behind the line. Nothing doing. Another helmet flies off, and that was Moore's helmet. Yeah, he's going to come out. He loses back to about the 32-yard line, also about three. You know, this is kind of what it looked like last week after we got that first first score. Um, they couldn't move the ball. Maybe that's good things to come. Well, they marked it at 33, lost at 2, 3rd and 12. And uh, Gage just texted me and said, appreciate the shout out. Says, hell, Southern. <laughs> Which I think Southern plays tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. All right, three, Stowe's in the shotgun. Third down and about 12. Trips to the left. One guy to the right. And that's not more in the backfield. That may be Larkin back there, number six. He takes a snap. He's looking to throw flag down. And I think that was a false start right, because. Yeah, Everybody moved but the center. <laughs> Got Jalen Jones listening from Cochran. Uh, the wide outs and the, both tackles moved, and the ball was never snapped until about a half a second later. So, so false start on uh, Wilcox. And back it up to the 28-yard line. be third and 17 now. So they got to get up to the 45 for the first down. How bad would it be to be, be a Wilcox Patriot, being that everybody hates the Patriots? <laughs> Not necessarily these Patriots, yeah. but, you know. All right, uh, Stowe will be in the shotgun, and I think Moore may be back in there now. No, no, I believe that's Thrower in 14. I knew we'd probably see him at running back tonight. The young man that's committed to Kentucky, and he looks like an athlete now, I'm telling you. He's a good-looking kid right there. Twins on each side, and Thrower is in the backfield with him. Stowe in the shotgun, and now we got a, is a flag or a time, oh, a timeout. Oh, timeout, Wilcox, okay. Wilcox will burn that first time yeah, out with one minute exactly go in the first quarter. Five, seven to six five. quickly. The yeah, they were making their um, they were making their adjustments at the line and just didn't like what they were seeing and wasn't getting to play in and quick enough. So, well, the back just threw a flag for a delay, but I think they got yeah, the timeout they first. Yeah, they okay. did. And uh, probably got a minute next week. Will the Royals, the Royals will be back home to take on South Atlanta, James? Uh, okay, because uh, uh, on the Max Brown is about as inside or in Atlanta for that game, but it's, it's been moved. Okay. Uh, don't be alarmed when you hear South Atlanta. They are a double A school. So we're not jumping on the big boys of Atlanta, but you can bet they're going to bring a good football team. Where are they located? Do you know? I'm not really sure. But they are a double A school. Third down and 17, Stowe's in the shotgun, trips to the left, one to the right. He takes the snap, he fakes, throws the comeback screen over here. It's almost intercepted, but it's caught, but brought down back around the 23-yard line. We had a guy read that like a book. And, uh, he almost intercepted it, but when he did make the pick, he went ahead and made the tackle. And he's back at the 25, loss of about three more. It's going to be fourth down and 20. And they're going to have to punt this thing. Stowe will punt it back deep for the Royals. is number nine, Brown. And number, I think it's number 11, Mobley. No, it's actually number six, Jenkins. And Stowe was standing at his own 10, and both of those guys standing at the 50 and the 45, respectively. Okay. Low snap, but Stowe will get it off. And it's almost blocked. It was tipped. It was tipped. They may you have got a it. hand on it. And it takes oh, a real tough okay. roll. Great roll. All the way down to the Blakely 31. Flag down. There's a flag right down, down here at the 37 yard line. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it was it was definitely tipped. Yeah. I can hear that. He got a piece of it. We had a guy get. I mean, the ball was a low snap, and we had a guy right on it, but just couldn't get all of it. And there's the flag came in right into the play at the Wilcox 37 yard I'm line. I'm wondering if if their guy went out of bounds. And came I'm not back sure in. they're pointing towards Blakely. Yeah, they're pointing at both, and then. So uh, I don't know if we had a little extracurricular activity after the play or what. Personal foul. He hadn't pointed to Blakely yet. Personal foul, Blakely. Okay. So somebody hit, hit later. Hit later, yes. So that's going to be 15 from the 31. That'll go all the way back to the 16-yard uh, line. Uh, quickly, 
Georgia Southern does play tomorrow against Campbell. It's a home That'll game. State the Orioles on 16 yard line. Or the first Not sure what the uh, COVID restrictions are down there. I'm sure the attendance will be limited like every other football game in yeah. college is. Of course. Uh, there's several college games tomorrow with ACC opens up play tomorrow. Yeah, I, was, I saw Clemson's playing tomorrow. Uh, Duke, Clemson Duke plays. Notre Dame uh, play tomorrow. Uh, who else plays tomorrow? And North Carolina plays somebody tomorrow. Comes on early. Season doesn't officially start for another two weeks. Though. Yeah, 26. <laughs> right, first and ten from the 16-yard line. The real We're season. 12 <laughs> seconds to go in the first quarter. Maybe the last play here. Sasser shotgun. Trips to, two twins to the right, one to the left. Mullis goes in motion as the H back. He takes the snap, gives it to Butler on the replay. Butler trying to bounce outside and. He's bouncing off tackles, but he's not getting much yardage. He got a little spin and stepped over somebody and picked up a yard. And that will be the end of the first quarter when you score. Blakely County 7, Wilcox 6. And we'll, we'll take a short time out, James, and catch our breath. We'll be right back on the Royal Football Network. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're about to start the second quarter. It's seven to six. Blakely leads it. We have it second and nine on our own 17-yard line. Sasser's in the shotgun. Twins to the right, one to the left, and I believe it's Stevens in the backfield with him. Gets in number nine, Brown in motion. He takes the snap. He fakes. He throws it out behind the line, completing Brown, but he's hit behind the line. He's going to lose yardage all the way back to around. There comes oh, a late good. flag. Yeah. That's going to be a late hit on Wilcox. So. Well, not only did uh, number nine for them not let go. Um, after he had him wrapped up, but the uh, another guy came in there to make a hit on him. And look, he slammed him on his head when he did tackle yeah, him. Yeah, he did. I mean, he, he had plenty of time to let go before they left their yeah. feet. It is a personal foul on Wilcox. And uh, quickly, James Gage takes me and said, apparently he saw it on the plate. He saw one of our guys on that on that punt nail one of their guys. That's I where the flag you. was at. So, uh, Good well, they there. just gave it back to us. <laughs> yeah, good out there, Gage, picking that yeah. up. Penalties all the way up to the 28-yard uh, line. Be first and 10, Blakely right there after the personal foul on Wilcox. So we're not zoomed in very much, but everybody seems to be able to see pretty yeah. well. <laughs> so first and 10, right, just underway here in the second quarter. Blakely leads it 7-6. And James, a quick score update. Dodge leads Dublin 7-0. I was oh, checking wow. the score Atlanta a while ago. Trips to the left now, one to the right. Sasser's in the shotgun. Takes the snap, and he gives it to Butler on the read, and he bounces forward to about the 30, gain of about only two. I think that was Butler. is either Butler or Stevens. They look so much alike. Uh, it was Stevens, by the way, not Butler. So if he's second and eight, and quickly, Blakely up to the line now. Dublin scored at the, uh, in, towards the end of the first. Uh, Chan Jones with the update says it's 7-7. Seven to seven. Okay, 7-7, seven to seven, Dodge and Dublin. Score Atlanta a little bit behind. <laughs> Second and eight, now Sasser shotgun, twins to the right, one to the left. Mullis will hop over in motion for Nate. back, takes the snap, and he gives it to Stevens on a stretch play, trying to get him around the corner, and he's not going to get much. He's piled up right there. We had uh, two blockers and four guys to block, and, and two don't block four very right often. <laughs> and it's up to about the 33-yard line. It's going to be third down and five. He got about three yards on the play. Braves are down 6-2. What, it scored 29 again, Eric? 
So third right now down, we just need him to score five more. Yeah. <laughs> third down and five. Uh, stretch out two to the right and one to the left. Mullis is in the H back. Sasha in the shotgun with Butler in the backfield this time. Hard count and Wilcox will not jump. And we have 12, 11 seconds on the play clock. And Sasser looks to the sideline. We might need to light a fire under this because we're under five seconds now on the play clock. And Coach Lester's going to call a timeout. He does. Timeout, uh, Blakely County. By the way. 10.07 to go in a half. 7 to 6. Blakely leads it. And a pretty tight game right now. Uh, both teams moved the ball on one drive, and the defenses have pretty much played the rest of the way. Yeah, it looks like uh, Southwest and Northeast need a one in action. Um, Marion County trails clinch 14 to 7. Since you got to call your alma mater score, I figured I'd call mine. <laughs> No score on East Lawrence and Johnson County. Washington County trails Swainsboro 6 0 in the first. Can you believe who was it beat Swainsboro last week? It was kind of a surprise to me. Hmm. They shut them out too. Wow. And I can't remember who it was now. Uh, it was really a surprise. I didn't think Swainsboro would lose that game, especially then. Surely I didn't think they'd get shut out. The timeout is up. It's third down and about five. If I cut that blasted music off, he might be able to hear me. Third down and five now. Sasser's in the shotgun. Trips to the right, one to the left. And that is Butler, I think, in the back field with him. No, it's Lost Stevens. To, it he matter. takes a snap and he throws it here. Complete to Stevens. He's got plenty of room. He's got blockers. Up to the 40. Up to the 50. 45. 40. Stumbles around. 35, still on his feet, 30, still on his feet, 25, 20, and brought down around the 15 finally. He was just rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling. I don't know if that was so much as brought down or, or, or a fall down. down. <laughs> he almost fell down about 10 times yeah. before he ever got there. and uh, It's all the way down to the 15-yard line, first and 10, Blakely. They threw up a dump in there, and he had big Amarius Mills in front of him. Always nice to have him blocking for him. Absolutely. And, um, he rumbled. He almost failed about three or four times, but he finally failed at the 15. First and 10. Now, Sasser in the shotgun. Mullis will flop over in motion. He takes the snap. Gives it to Butler on the replay. Cuts back in the middle, and he's done around the 10-yard line. Gain of maybe five, maybe four. I think he may spot it at the 11. That was uh, Metter, uh 28 nothing over. Yeah, that was a surprise. Yeah, I really didn't think that would happen. Especially that score. I mean, yeah. Not taking anything away from Metter, but I just thought Swingsboro was a tougher team than that. Yeah. And they may be. They may have had a bad night. May have had. I may have had people out. May have had several people quarantine. You're right. Second down and six. They mark it at the 11. 9.19 to go in the half. But the leads at 76. And they stopped the clock. Okay, they got a guy for coming off with equipment problem with his helmet. And that is number nine that coming Moore. off. Yeah, number nine, Justin Moore. So they send the guy in for him. And now it's like we're sending guys in too. We're changing it out here. We may go to that heavy package with all our big guys like we normally do. Because I see big Willie Harris coming in. And he would get in the backfield along with number five, Zach Stanley. And Sasser will line up wide right or wide left, and then Stevens will go in the Wildcat now with two big guys in front of him. Stanley goes in motion. Stevens takes it. He runs off right tackle, and he falls over the 10-yard line. Maybe I don't know if there was a flag I saw eight. come out. Yeah, saw, it looks like there was a flag over I saw here something side. fly up. I looked at it. And it looks like it's going to be on Blickley because their coach is pointing that he wants to take it. We may have had an illegal formation the way everybody was shifting around there. Yeah. And it was. We sent Sasser out wide left. But, uh, well, they marked the ball at the 10. They didn't. They said he only got a yard. I thought he got inside the 10. Well, they're going to put it back because it was a previous spot. Just got a text from Mr. Shane Stokes. He says, Metter was going to beat Swingsboro last week. Uh, Appreciate that, Mr. Shane. Uh, you're just a little bit late. We finally figured it out, but thanks anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a slight delay, so he may have gotten that after we were able to figure it out. He could have, yeah. So, uh, Shane's my but buddy. thank you, Shane. Shane's <laughs> timeout by, by Blickley now. That's our second. But, uh, yeah, Shane's my buddy. Hadn't seen the old Joker in a while, but uh, he and I used to do this together back in the day. And then I called a baseball he, game in Little uh, Georgia with him a few years ago. Yeah, he and I did this for a few years, and then he left me. He went somewhere <laughs> else. I hope you're listening, Shane. But you know I'm kidding. Uh, timeout Royals here with 8.53 to go in the half. We lead it 7-6. to six. And it's going to be the penalty back us up to the 15. It'll be third down and 10 right there. So, um, well, they still got it. 
Oh, we're going that way. <laughs> we're going. We're going. <laughs> it's actually going to be second down. <laughs> There was a spot, I mean, it was a previous spot. Oh, yeah, it is second down. Yeah. I was wrong. It is second down. So, uh, no, it was third and six, now it's second and 11. Yeah. I mean, now it's second down and 10. So, it's a four yard penalty. Yeah, that, they had already changed it to third down, or I yeah. think they were thinking they were going to decline the penalty, but they did take it. It was the illegal formation. We had somebody not on the line of scrimmage, probably. It was humid in here. It is. In <laughs> it is September, but who we knows? We can't open the. Uh, windows too much or to get too loud with the music. Uh, second and 10 from the 15 now. Sasser's in the shotgun. Two wide ups to the right, one to the left. He'll send Butler back. He'll shift back to the backfield. He takes the snap and he fakes the Butler and Sasser's trying to keep it himself. He pops off one tackle but he's not going to break the other two and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. He might have got about a half a football length over the 15 and but it's still going to be about third down and a short 10. The one the day, the one talking about the weather. I was two. watching the news this morning, and um, it was 64 for the high today in Chicago. <laughs> and it had snow in Colorado. Yes, it, it, it went from 90 one day to snow yeah. on the next day. Now, third down and 10, they do mark it right at the 15-yard line. And Michael Myers will be quiet. Y'all can hear me. Just a little bit, see if pick us up a little bit better. Uh, third down and ten. Twins to the left and to the right. Butler's in the back. Uh, Stevens in the backfield with Sasser. Sasser takes the snap. He's looking to throw. Looking to throw. And now he's under a rush. He throws incomplete. He threw it out to feed him mobily to avoid the sack. He had time, but nobody yeah. could get open. And then he had some people walking there. He just couldn't get anybody open. By the time he found somebody, he was already surrounded. So yeah. it looks like we're going to try a field goal here. Yeah, um, Fordham is coming out. James Fordham is coming out. Uh, now, I, I watched him in warm-ups in the second half, uh, coming out for the second half last week. And I want to say he was kicking them from about 35. And this so, one's going to be set down at the 22. This is going to be inside his range. It's going to be a 32-yard Maybe attempt. it was 30, but his range seems to be about 40 to 45. And we're down to 12 seconds on the play clock. Sasser just takes a knee to hold it. So a 32-yard attempt near the far hash mark. He's going to have to hook it a little bit. There's a snap. It's set down. Kick is up, and it is good. And it had plenty of distance. I was just making sure it got inside the upright. Uh, that makes it 10 to 6, correctly. And Kip McGuire says, let's go BC. So Kip is back. Listen, Kip is uh, recovering from, uh, well, I'm sure everybody knows Kip knows what it is. He's yeah. recovering from the COVID. I mean, yeah. we hope he's doing well. He was he was in the hospital with it a couple of times. Yeah, so good to good to see him. He's listening in. Yeah, uh, also, um, Kermit Nobles uh, Jr. said uh, we do a great job on here. Yeah, I've been so. knowing Kermit for oh quite a while now. And here we go. I knew this was coming. This is a text from my buddy, Mr. Shane. Looks like we're over the hundred mark now. He's laughing. This is, by the way, South Atlanta Hornets is a merger of Fulton High School and Walter George High School in 94. It's located at I-675 and I-285. So uh, that's who we play next week. Okay. Uh, with 7.59 to go in the half, it's 10 to 6 Blakely. And that kick by Fulton was plenty of leg. Yeah. I just wondering if it's going to get inside the upright because he hooked it just a tad too much. Yeah, it's 32-yard field goal there. So. And uh, he had the distance to probably cook it. At least 42 yards. So 10 to 6, Blakely leads it. 7.59 to go in the half, and Fordham will kick it off. They have Lawson and McAdoo back deep, standing about uh, 10 and the 5, respectively. And it is so humid tonight. Fordham approaches the ball, and it's our pooch kick, and number 10 will catch it about the 33. He's up to the 35 to 40 and brought down about the 42. That is uh right, so the number one when we kick off the player for the Patriots. Thirty-five Austin Johnson and number uh the 40, 40 yard 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 the the yeah. tackle there. And that will be up at the forty three yard line where they mark him down at. So first and ten Patriots, they got good field position, but if you kick it deep to McAdoo or Lawson, they are dangerous return men. Because McAdoo's gonna return one punt all the way up to midfield and set up there for a score. And 7.55 to go now, and they're quickly to the line. Stowe is the quarterback. He's in the shotgun. He'll have trips to the left, and then he'll flip one guy over to the right. And it looks like number five, Dean's in the backfield with him, or number six, rather, uh, Larkin. He takes the snap. He fakes. He's looking to throw, throwing along down the right sideline, and it's out of bounds, way out of bounds. Nobody could have caught that. Trying to hit number four. That was the same pass he threw on the uh, opening, opening possession, and that one was way out of bounds, too. And yeah, uh, Stowe was just... They were near on those throws. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I tell you, if he had thrown that one, if he had thrown that one in bounds, our um, our DB didn't look up till too late, 
and might, their guy might have had a play on it. And McAdoo was the receiver. He comes off the field, and they'll split two wide on each side and throws in the shotgun with Larkin in the backfield with him. Second down and ten. Long count. And he takes the snap. He's looking to throw, and he's rolling to his left. He's on the heavy rush. He throws it in the third. That's going to be intentional grounding, I think. Uh, didn't make it past the line of scrimmage. Because he, hit, I can't be. he hit number 54 in the feet. Which is one of their down, down, down. I don't know how that wasn't intentional grounding. because he No flag. He might have been out of the box, but it did not pass the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and it hit number 54 in the feet. Yeah. He was dropping back to pass block, so he was way behind the line. I mean, you but, could tell that was yeah. a throwaway. No, no flag. Third and ten. Stowe takes the snap. And he fakes, and he's looking to throw again. He's under a rush. He's hit. He throws, and it's incomplete. He got nailed right time he threw it. Incomplete, and it'll be fourth down. Yeah, James, I don't understand that call at all because uh, – Non-call. <laughs> yeah, you got to get it past the line of scrimmage, yeah. no matter if you're in the box. Right, right. And there was no receiver back there. Like I said, he hit number 54 in the feet. Oh, yeah. If they say that he was – well, that, that would have been illegal touching too. Yeah. If he hit it, it Well, it hit at yeah. his feet. It yeah. may not have hit his feet, but right. it hit right at his feet. And he was – Four or five yards deep blocking. So anyway, they're gonna have to punch. Throw a punt it, and we got two men back deep. Mobley and looks like Jenkins back there. Low snap, but Mobley will get it off. We come after it, we don't get it. Mobley wins an Oscar for an acting job there, and Mobley catches it and he's out of bounds at about the 28. Stowe got brushed and he fell down like somebody had run over. Him. <laughs> and, uh, the referee shows him and uh, you're not going to win that one. They might be recruiting him for one act with that one. He may have got nominated for an Oscar, but he wouldn't have won that one. <laughs> he barely got brushed by one of our uh, rushers and he just went down like somebody had clipped him in the back. <laughs> but anyway, no flag, no foul. And we have it on the 29, first and 10 right there with 7.33 to go in the half. Blakely leads it 10 to 6. And remember, James, we got to kick it off to start the second half, so it would be yeah. nice for a nice long drive here, eat yeah. the clock up, put some points on the board. Absolutely. got to get You want to get something out of this because this is – you might not get the ball back. Um, unless you go right. three and out and force him three and out. That's about the only way. But Trips to the right. Sasha takes a snap. He fakes. He's looking to throw. Throws a slant over the middle. It's almost intercepted. Oh. And then almost caught and then almost intercepted. <laughs> Their guy missed it, and then he hit Eli Mullis in the hands. He couldn't hold it. And then one of the other guys almost got it. And it's yeah, incomplete after all that. He pump faked. I'm not sure exactly if that was going to Mobley or, or to Mullis there. Um, it was uh, – He hit number 15 for them right in yeah, the hands. It was kind of in between and it hit their guys. Yeah, it bounced off him, and then Mullis had a chance and couldn't haul it in. And then there, another one of their guys had a chance, and he couldn't haul it in. All that is incomplete pass. Second down and ten. Trips to the right, one to the left. Sasser in the shotgun. Takes the snap. He gives it to Butler on the replay. Trying to get him around the left side and nothing doing. They hit him behind the line. And you see who made that tackle, that young man that's committed to Kentucky. There. He, and if he's good enough to go to Kentucky, he's not going to miss tackles like that, folks. You're going to have to put a hat on him. And it's no game. Be third down and ten. Yeah, you're going to have to block 14 because he's not going to miss that tackle if he's good enough to play at yeah, Division One no, football. No, no. But if he don't make that tackle, it's a pretty good play because nobody else is out there. Third and 10 now. Butler goes in motion. Sasser drops straight back to throw. He's looking, looking. Now he's rolling to his left. He's still looking. He's going to have to get rid of it to do something, and he runs out of bounds at about the 20, about the 30, rather. And I, it's going to be fourth and ten. They're going to have to punt. I feel a little bit bad for their defensive lineman, number 56. I don't know what year he is. 56 is uh, Jamal Hilliard. He is a junior. No. 5'7", 205. 5'7", no. 205. 5'10". No, he's got him 5'7", 205. Right here. No, I'm sorry, 5'10", 205. 5'10", 205 going up against Mims. Oh, Mims he? Yeah, he, he came up. He, he stood up and he came at Mims and Mims kind of Poked at him, poked at him again, and he just gave him a good push and he went down. <laughs> All right, Rozier will punt it back deep is Mac, uh, McAdoo. He had a long return earlier, so you might want to be careful here. There's a snap. Rozier gets it off. It's blocked, and it's going to dance around at about the uh, 25-yard line. And it's, They picked it up and thumped it, but I think they got it back. They did get it back. They did. They're going to have it at the 25. It was blocked, and it was – Fluttered forward up to around the line of scrimmage. Yeah, snap was snap was to the right of the uh, punter. He didn't get off for that point. And one guy picked it up, tried to run with it, but then he fumbled. And if we could have got it, it would have been our ball. Yeah, but they, they did recover. They got a lucky bounce to him because uh, it popped. It, it bounced right into his gut. Yeah. And uh, our guy went to make the tackle and reached around and popped it out. So yeah, could have been lucky. 
Yeah, if we could recover, we'd have it first and 10 right there. Yeah. But they did get, did get on. They have it first and 10 from the 25. And we only hit up 55 seconds on the clock. 628, 638 to go in half here. Twins to the right, one to the left. Or twins to the left, one to the right. Stows in the shotgun. He takes the snap and he gives it a more on stretch play. That's actually lost in number one. He's inside the 20, down and around. Oh, the 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 was Willie Harris team. and uh, oh, Willie Harris and number I'm sorry, 28. A late flag uh, came in. A late flag came in from the back judge, and I'm not sure what it was. I'll say that was Harrison Pope on the tackle. But both teams, both teams, both teams looking around now. Uh, picked up about seven Stowe was saying it's on Blackley, so let's see. It's a dead ball, personal foul, and it is on Blakely. That would be at the distance to the goal line, be first and goal right there. I didn't see what happened, but that flag came in right after the play was over. Must have been a late hit on somebody. Somebody must have did something coming out of the pile. And it's at, at the nine-yard line, first and goal. First and goal, Patriots. So, me, defensive stand here by the uh, by the Royals. So, was in the shotgun, lost it in the backfield with him, and now they blow it dead. What's going on here? I don't see a flag, but they stop it. Now they're ready to go. 621 to go in a half. They're at the nine yard line, first and goal. Stowe takes a snap. He fake. Throws a slant over the middle and threw it behind everybody incomplete. I'm not sure if that was just way behind or if that was actually tipped in the line. Yeah, but they have. Uh, they're trying to hit number two, but it's on a slant pattern. But it was behind him and our he's, defensive guy. Yeah, he's covered by TJ Mays. Mays is going to have to shove him to the outside because they want that slant. Yeah. All right, second and goal now. Twins to the right, one to the left, and that is Larkin in the backfield with Stowe now. He's in the shotgun. Takes a snap. He faces. He's wanting to throw it. Throwing a fade down to the corner of the end zone, and it's incomplete. They had a guy down there went up over uh, the end. flag down on the far side. The flag at the line of scrimmage. Just got it. Uh, point at us. We got an illegal man downfield. Oh, no. okay. I think they had a receiver covered up what it was and didn't yep. realize it. Illegal man downfield. Illegal receiver downfield against the Patriots. You may want to decline this, make it third and goal from the yeah. nine. They they try to throw the fade to number is that number nineteen Singletary? Uh, yes, it is. And That's he right. is six foot one going against our corner over there. I'm not sure how tall he is, but he went up. But our corner made a good play and broke it up. And uh, let's see what they are. We're so he take. went. Yeah, he went up. He actually made a great play on the ball, but Jenkins was able to get his hand in there and knock it out. We do take the penalty and back up to the 14 yard line. Second goal from the 14. Now Stowe shotgun again. Two outs to the right, one to the left, and then he has Larkin in the backfield with him. 6:07 on the clock here in the second half or second quarter. Luckily, these at 10 to six, but uh, Wilcox is threatening here. Play clock down to 10. Now they finally get ready. Stowe takes the snap. He fakes. He's looking to throw again. He's under a rush. He moves one man. He he's coming the ball and is bouncing around. And did Blakely get it? We're piling up. Yeah. And Blakely trying. has the football back at the 27 yard line. Trying to see who it is. Somebody hit Stowe as he was raising his arm up to throw it, but his arm never went forward. But now they're saying Wilcox got the ball. Well, number 99, David Dent was on top of it. It looked like they must have wrestled it out from under him. Wow, but. Blakely fell on that ball to start with. I guess he lost it in the pile. Well, but the good thing is we never had possession, so it's not a turnover. I mean, it's not a first down. Right. It's third down and goal back at the 27-yard line now. Somebody hit Stowe right when he pulled his arm up. That was uh, actually Pope that got him. And one of our guys line. almost called it to run with it. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, the referee stopped and first set our ball, then they changed it to Wilcox. 5.48 to go in the half. Blickley leads 10 to 6. They have it third and goal from the 27 yard line. I think it was our number eight, Nehemiah Mack, that had a shot at scooping it, but couldn't quite right, grab trips it. Trips to the left, one to the right, and throwers in the backfield with Stowe. Stowe takes a snap, looking to throw. And he's going to roll to his right. Throws out here in the flat, and it's incomplete. Tried to hit number two. Butts around a 15 yard line they complete. Now it's fourth and goal from the 27, and uh, I'm not sure what kind of field goal kicker they got, but they're leaving the offense on the yeah, field well, here. Well, was it Butts? Oh. Yeah, Willie Butts. He, he went down kind of like it was going to be right off the ground yeah. the way he went down to catch it, trying to, you know, cuddle it in, and it was about three fi- three yards higher than him. It seemed like. <laughs> All right, fourth and goal from the 27 on a row of defense. You've got to keep everything in front of you. Don't let nobody get in the end zone. Trips, a twins on each side and throwers in the backfield with Stowe. You got to watch him. 
thrower that is. And they moved oh, way early. There's a flag. Yeah, boy, they, everybody but the center moved. I say their wide receiver took <laughs> off. Well, I say all their all their skill guys moved. The line never moved. So their their only option at this point is probably a probably uh, help Mary at this point. Hope to get a pass interference or something if they don't get the ball. So fourth and goal from the 32 here. But remember, pass interference is not automatic first down anymore. Well, I'm just saying, oh, move the I'm ball sorry. closer and get yeah. another play, yeah. So, Hoping uh, for some type of defensive penalty. But they'll get the play over, too, yeah. Yes. Fourth down and goal. Stowe takes the snap, dropping straight back. He's under a rush. He rolls to his left. He's looking to throw, throwing towards the end zone. And he caught it for a touchdown. We let a guy get way behind us. You believe that? Unbelievable. Fourth and goal from the 27, and you let a guy get behind you in the back of the end zone. So he just ran away from it. Yeah. I mean, that was a great pass. Uh, Unbelievable. Good scrambling by Stowe to get over to make that throw. That was just... You do not let people get behind you fourth and goal from the 27. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just a play. I don't know play. if you remember a couple years ago, that was our Achilles heel was letting those people get behind us repeatedly. Yeah, that was just a poor play by our defensive backs right there. Unbelievable. Yeah, I want the extra point now. you got to keep everything in front of you on that play. Kick is up. Low kick, but I think it got in there. It did. Kick is good. So good. Five oh six to go in the half. It's 13 to 10. Wilcox. Open the door here and see if we get some airflow in here. <laughs> yeah. And score update Dodge County leads Dublin 19 to 7 in the oh, second wow. quarter. Of course, Dublin lost a lot of players from last year, so they may have to take one on the chin tonight. Dodge lost to Toons last week by score of 26 to 20. So 5 6 to go in the half, 13 to 10, Wilcox says they threw one into the end zone on fourth and goal from the 27, and somehow or another he got behind our defense, and he caught it right in front of the goal post about two yards, well, about eight yards deep, two yards shy of the back line. Now he's got to brush that off and come back here. Still plenty of time to go in the half. And kicking off for Wilcox will be number 85, Quay Miller. Raising, taking it six to three, but um, unfortunately, we're going to have to guard it off after fouling the ball off the play. That's a long end of ring kick, and Brown will take it at about the 17, reverses the field to the 15, up to the 20, gets the block, up to the third 25, and trying to get around the corner and brought down just shy of the 30, looks like. Be first and 10 rolls right there. I smell it. And the kick off the turn to the right. Is that fried fish? You know, I, I, did, <laughs> think, <laughs> I did think the schools are supposed to be able to cook food. I thought it could sell package food, but I didn't know if they were cooking the yeah. came in. Well, it smells good. <laughs> It's going to be first and ten from the twenty-nine for the Royals. And James, how how bad is that fourth down play hurt now? Because they're going to oh, get yeah. the ball to start the second half here. Well, you still got four fifty-six to yeah. you know at least try and move the ball down and you know field goal. We know we got field goal or we got a good good range, so could get a uh, could drive down and try and get a field goal at least tie it up before the half. But you got to so move the ball. Again. Takes a snap, gives it to Stevens on the stretch play. He's over to thirty and brought down up around the thirty-four yard line. Gage just told me that Acuna's day to day. Yeah. Okay. Good. Don't know the extent of it, but uh. Well, you know, on that last drive, they had um. Well, they had second and nine. Yeah, the Adam took them back to second and fourteen. On on uh second down, they fumbled. <coughs> we thought we had it. We thought we had it, and then you know just. Went downhill from there. Sasha shotgun takes the snap, gives it to Stevens on the stretch around the right this time, and he cuts back up, and he's over to 35 to about the 36. It's going to be a gain of about three maybe on the play. going to be third and down gonna, and about 
Third down and about four. I'm going to call their guy out. Number four, he just made that, uh, just made that touchdown reception. Went in there diving without his hands out to try and make that tackle. I don't know if you saw that, but he kind of lunged himself in the where Stevens was headed. Didn't even touch it. All right, marking on the 35, we third and four right there. Sasser in the shotgun with 3.53 and counting to go in the half here. We need to move the sticks here. We can't we get the ball back to him. Sasser in the shotgun. Twins to the left, one to the right. He'll send Butler in motion. He takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Throws over the middle. Incomplete. He had Eli Mullis open for the first down. And, uh, it was a little high, but it should have been caught. I mean, yeah, it went right. Right. I, I was, That was a tough catch, but still. You know, it could have been a little bit lower. Senior athletes in their pants. If you think you're at the point. 338 to go in the half. We're down 13 to 10. And, and I keep harping on it. We sure gave up a cheap score a while ago. Yeah, we did. All right, Rogier will punt it, and McAdoo back deep, standing about his own 30. And they dropped four guys back in the middle there, so they don't think they're coming after this. Good snap this time. Rogier will get it off. Line drive kick, going to hit about the 40 and roll inside the 35. McAdoo picks it up, dangerous, and he's got a guy on his back, and we finally bring him down around the 35-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Yeah, we'll call right the hey, you got the guy on this side marking at 31. The guy on that side was trying to go to the uh, 34. It looked like the progress was about he the first time. Well, yeah, he got away. Yeah. And then had additional contact that I think lost him lost him two yards. And he marked it at 33 with 327 to go in the half. I know the first quarter went by kind of quick, and the second yeah. quarter's kind of dragging. <laughs> All right, Stowe's in the shotgun, twins to the left, one to the right. And I think that's Moore in the backfield with him. He takes the snap, and he pitches to Moore, trying to get him around the left side, and he's got a little room. He's over 35 and up around the 38-yard line. And Jeff he's going to be right there. The As we... Pope, I think, was the first man there on the uh, on the hit there for the Royals. Game of five, so make it second down and five. Be second the five, Patriots. they got it to the 38. Quickly to the line, now Stowe shotgun again. We reach the three-minute mark. He takes a quick pitch to the right to Moore this time, and he's going to cut back it, reverses his field to the left, and he's at the line of scrimmage, and he's hit and brought down just over to 40. He did fall forward. Wow, yeah, they're going to give him a good spot, almost to the first down. Yeah, we had, it. 43. we had him uh, boxed up over to the uh, right, and he reversed field. Luckily, Pope was out there and able to make the hit. And, and make it at the 42. be third down in the yard. Yeah, Harris got in there on the help team. with a the cleanup. They're quickly to the line, third in the yard. Now Stowe's in the shotgun. And they do the hard count, but we don't jump. And we're 2.30 to go in the half and counting. We definitely need a defensive stop here because they're going to get the ball to start the second half. Play clock down to 10. So takes a snap, and he gives it up out of the middle. And it's going to be a first down and more. Number one, Lawson over the midfield. They got a guy come in late, but no flag. Boy, he came in way late. That was, that, was that, was that, was that was the quarterback. He came in way late. But he was yeah. in there with his helmet and shoulder on somebody's back. They're at the 48, first and 10. They'll wind it right there. We'll reach the two-minute mark. So takes a snap. He fakes. He's going to keep it himself around the left side, and he's over to 45 and slides out of bounds at about the 44, gain of about It's a good thing for him that, for them that he kept it because Scooter slapping right in there. They wrote him in bounds because the, 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 the clock is still running. Second down and about six. He gained four on the play. I don't think he meant. I don't know if he meant to do that or if he just didn't want to get hit. Stowe takes the snap. He fakes. He's going to keep it up the middle of himself, and he's hit right at the line, and nothing doing. He knocked him down right there. And James, this is like they're moving a tad before the ball snaps. Yeah. That's going to five Zach Stanley on the uh, flag. They're going to take a timeout. They're going to take out. a timeout. And that will leave them a one. Make it third down and five. Uh, we got a score update. Dodge leads Dublin 19 to 14 now. So it looks like that might, might be a ball game down there. Yeah, it went from 7 7 to Dodge, got a touchdown and a point after was blocked. And I'm assuming they probably went for two. Or either the uh, PAT was blocked or missed again. So, a minute 34 to go in the half here. Look out season 13 to 10. And they have a third down and five from the Blakely 43 yard line. And Jay, I'd give, uh, I'd give a dollar and a quarter for a good breeze right now. <laughs> Trying to get the window open, he gets a little air flowing through. I know the PA is loud, but we had to have some air, so we had to open the windows. Yeah, 
It'll be third down and five. They finally come to the line now. Back in my helmet, please. Got a minute and 34 to go in the half. Stowe will be in the shotgun. He has throw in the backfield with him now. If he can give it to him, he's going to be a tough man to bring down. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left. There's a snap. Stowe going to roll to his right, looking to throw. He's under a rush. He breaks one tackle, but he's not going to break the next one. We're going to sack him back around midfield. And it's going to be fourth down and about 12 from right there. Number 50, Sincere Fowler, that got a got a clean run at him and made the first contact. And uh, I would think. Uh, Patriot, They're taking a third time out. Yeah. I wonder if he would maybe let it run down and then punt it. Well, fourth down and, fourth down and 12 here at the 50 uh, yard line. But uh, he called a timeout. That's our last one. Uh, uh, that's what he did on our last fourth okay. down. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. let them get behind you. Yeah, that, the last fourth down, they burn us on it. Yeah, Don, so. we'll, oh, well, we got a second here. I uh, want to remember today is, is 9-11. Yeah. Um, and I uh, just want to remind people that lost their life from terror attacks Friday. 19 Breaking years ago. I still remember I was the I the TV on when I went to sleep that night. I woke up and I thought there was a war movie, movie on. And I was looking through channels and I was on every channel and I was trying to figure out what was going on. I remember I was at work. That's when I was working in the gym, and we were in the gym. We had a TV on, and we watched every bit of it. And it yeah. Was, it was uh, heartbreaking, to say the least, and yeah. just stunned what we were. We oh, didn't yeah. know what to say or what to do. All right, they are going to punt it. Stowe will line up the punt, and we got Mobley and it looks like Jenkins back deep. There's a snap. Stowe will get it off. Pretty good kick, and Jenkins will take it. He fumbles it, and he's going to pick it up at around the 10. And he breaks one tackle, runs into his own man. He's not going to break the next tackle. And we're going to have it around the 10 yard line. Well, I don't think if, if he hadn't run into his own man, he had some daylight to run to the opposite side of the he field. He's trying to go back to the right and he ran into his own man, and the defense caught up with him. Yeah. Minute six to go here. Avoided two, two of their guys and then ran into our uh, ran into our guy, and they were able to clean it up at that point. But a well, minute six to go, and we have – they got the scoreboard wrong. They should be out of timeout, so we should have one. No, we took – yeah. Right, right? I know they took no, we, took the, we took that last timeout. Oh, we did? Yeah, we okay. called it oh, last okay. timeout. I thought we yeah. – okay, so we don't have any timeout. So, I guess we uh, took it in order to try and get the ball back with yeah, the – Yeah, and you're on your – they marked it at the 12, so no timeouts a minute six. You're in your own 12-yard line. You don't want to don't want to get too risky here. You might want to play Probably going to run the ball and see if you can break something. Yeah, if you break a big run, then you got something going. Sasser in the shotgun. He'll take it. He'll give it to – Butler on the stretch play. He gets a block, and he's over to 15, and he's up around the 20. He's still on his feet, brought down. going to be a first down up around the 23-yard line. Yeah, he got out of bounds. Or, or he was out of bounds. Yeah, he's time to put a first down. Yeah. Well, the, close, clock had, the clock just did stop. <laughs> we have 50 seconds to go here in the half. And uh, it will be first down at the 23-yard line. They just stopped the clock. I mean, they see. And okay. this is... I don't know what that was. Sound like the roof was falling in up there. Sasser takes the snap. He gives it to Butler again on a replay right up in the middle. Oh, the ball's out. And did he fumble the ball? Ball came out. Wilcox are saying they got it. Around. Wilcox are saying they got it, waiting on the official. They'll probably get another foot stomp here. Waiting on the official. The official hadn't gave a signal yet. And now he does it in Wilcox ball, fumbled at the 28 yard line. With 33 seconds to go and a half, and we're going to give it to him right here in scoring position. And it's at the 20, at the 27. And first and 10 right there, and boy, we were just killing ourselves, James. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's first turnover. It was right. first turnover, but yeah, uh, yeah. But I mean, just you got to protect the football when you run it. Middle. I don't know if he stripped it or just lost it or what, but. Uh, Anyway, they have it first and ten. They they have one timeout left as well. And you know they're going to throw it. They're not going to sit on it. Trips to the right, one to the left, and looks like throw, looks like Lawson in the backfield, number one. No, that's, that's Larkin, number six. I think. Stowe, that's, number nine. You know, nine more. Stowe takes the snap. He's under a heavy rush. He's rolling to his left, gets the block, and he throws out in the flat, incomplete. Trying to throw it down. There comes a flag behind the play. Was that interference on us? Yep. And there's another, is that another flag right there at the 15 or is that just trash? Right behind our player's foot there. Uh, I don't see that. I think it may be trash. Yeah, it's trash. It's eight. Uh, maybe interference on Blakely. The flag come in at the play down around the uh, 18 yard line. He's holding against the defense. It's going to be a hold. The pass was in the dirt. It wasn't going to be caught. 
but they will take the penalty and it'll be an automatic first down for them as well, even though it's only a 10 yard penalty. It'll be a first down either way. Well, the ball down to the 17 yard line. And it'll be first and 10. Wilcox right there with 25 seconds left in the half. Well, they got four downs basically to take yeah. shots at the end zone. And they do have one timeout. The, you know, depending on how their field goal kicking is, and their oh, points a, haven't been great. Yeah, no, they haven't been great at all. Stowe takes the snap. He'll give it to Thrower. He's trying to get around the right side. He's got room, and Thrower's at the 10. He's at the 5 flag oh, down, no. and he got down to about the 1, but the flag is at the mm-hmm. 9. Darvin Yates tried to break off the where he was being blocked and oh, get out there. There was a hold. There was a, yeah, there was, there was a hold on Ye- or against Wilcox grabbing Yates there. And the flag is at the eight yard line, so that's going to back him up 10 from there. And lost more importantly, it was some time off the clock. Yeah. Loss of a yard, basically. And 16 seconds in the clock. He was knocked out of bounds at the one he didn't score, but he would have been at the one yard line. So holding on the Patriots. And that was the, the, the young guy was committed to Kentucky. I knew he'd run it before the night was over. All right. First down, 11. So was in the shotgun. He'll fake it. He's looking to throw. He's looking. He's looking. No rush. Now we get finally gets my over. He's looking to throw towards the end zone. Got a man open. Touchdown. Touchdown. Got a man open in there. Nobody covered him. Is there a flag down? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a flag down over at the uh, 22 yard line. Illegal formation. formation. So illegal formation will wipe that one out. The flag is over at the uh, 22 yard line, which yeah, is at the line of scrimmage. I couldn't tell who was on the covers that got there late. I don't know if it was a cross up as they were coming across the formation or if it was a. Uh, well, it had to be a formation because yeah. if it had been a false start, they would have killed the play. Right, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying when they. I don't know if it was their, their receiver got yeah. open because it came across the All formation. Right, yeah. or, I'm sorry, I, I misunderstood you. <laughs> So the, right, we'll from the uh, line was, line. Now it's down to 7.8 seconds, and it's first down from the 22-yard line. First they're outside in, uh, of field first goal range. 15. Yeah, they're outside of field goal range for what we've seen. So. so they got time for one, maybe two plays. Depends on how quick they run this one. That's big, two big penalties saved us right there, folks. I'm telling you. Probably going to be a, a shot at the end zone here. Yep. Stowe's in the shotgun. He takes the snap. He's looking to throw. We're only rushing three Might guys. And we can't get throw in the words the end zone in the back of the end zone. It's caught. Incomplete out of bounds. And the clock ran out. Out of bounds. The clock should have stopped. The clock run out. I looked up after the play was over. <laughs> the clock runs out. That's the half. He was out of bounds in the back of the end zone. So we dodged another bullet there. We almost gave him another touchdown, folks. Yeah, I looked up after the play was over. There was still, there was still, a, there was just under a second left. <laughs> They let it run out, so that's that's fine with us, right? Yeah, we'll take that all day long. All right, uh, okay, well, we're going to take a break here for half time days, and uh, we do not have a, not gonna be a band show tonight. I don't know if anybody can hear me or not, that PA is so loud. Yeah, they're, they're going to be recognizing their seniors, so the camera will be on midfield, and uh, we'll be back in 20 minutes, which will be 9.04. So about 9.05, we should be back on the uh, – should right. be back going. So get you something to eat, something to drink. We'll see you in a little bit.
All right, welcome back, everybody. We're at half halftime here between the Royals and the Patriots, and the score is Wilcox 13, Blakely 10. The warm-up period is just about to end, so we're about ready to go. Blakely will be kicking it off to Wilcox as they, uh, Wilcox are going to toss in the third. And James, uh, looking back at the first half, uh, in a way, we're forcing it to only be down three. Yeah. Another way, we could be ahead by four. <laughs> uh, we could be ahead by four. We could, or more. I mean, yeah, yeah it could be. Be a lot of different things right now. <laughs> Just uh, a quick recap: we were up ten to six, and Wilcox had blocked a punt and got it deep in our territory. And after a penalty on us, gave them first and goal from the nine. After a couple penalties and a sack and a fumble, they had a fourth and goal from the twenty-seven. And James, you and I, right before they snapped, we said, "Don't let anybody get behind yep. you." Well, after their quarterback scrambled a little bit, he threw it into the end zone. They had a man right in front of the goalpost. And nobody on him, and they score on fourth and goal from 27. And that same player almost caught the ball at the end of the half. Right. That was um, – We fumbled on our yeah. 27-yard line with just a, under a minute to go, and they throw one on the last play of the half. The back at the end zone for the same guy, and fortunately he was out of bounds. Yeah. Fortunate for us. <laughs> so, uh, either way you look at it, the, uh, we're we've down three Yeah, we've had a little bit of fortune, but um, – Gonna have to have some more bounces to go away and take advantage of them in the second half. All right, James Fordham will kick it off and back deep for the Patriots is Lawson and McAdoo. And I would think he would kick away from them as McAdoo made a good punt return earlier in the game. So, uh, down three and well, maybe we wait for the third quarter to turn on again. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, we wait a little bit past the midway. There's a minute, you know, about, about two or three minutes left when we got to go in last week, so. Hopefully we get to go a little bit sooner than that. One score and a half of Dodge County 19, Dublin 14. Uh, Florida will kick it off. Here he comes. It's a high, short, pooch, pooch kick. He'll be taken by the up man at the 25. He's running around the middle of the field. He's up to the 35. Ball comes out. And I think we got it. That Blakely. is number 17. Blakely County has the football. Luke Duffy with a recovery. And the hit was by, I, I couldn't tell who made the hit. Uh, Duffy got right on top of it, so there's that break we needed to get I things going. I think it was number seven facing on the return, and he got hit. Okay. Yep, they're the ones that are patting on the head as he come off. It was number seven. Uh, halftime, Swainsboro's 12 over Washington County, seven. Washington County's still in our region? Yes. They are, okay. Yeah, yeah, they are. I'm sorry. Oh, Marion County's down to clinch, 34-7. to seven. So the Royals get a break on the opening kickoff here in the second half. They have it first and 10 from the Wilcox 32-yard line. Sasser in the shotgun. Takes the snap. He'll ride. Stevens on the read right up in the middle. And he's still on his feet over to 25, down around the 23-yard line, the 24-yard line, 23-yard line. Yep. So big run by Stevens. Dodge up 19-14 in the third quarter. Johnson County 13, East Lawrence 0. Hey, mark it at the 24. We're going to be second down and two right there for the Royals. So a chance to, a chance to maybe take the lead here. Sasha takes a snap, gives it to Stevens on the read again, and he's going to get the first down, I think, right at the marker, it looks like. They stopped the clock, so I think he got the first down. What region are we now? 3A. 3 A. No, 3AA. Yeah. Okay. They haven't changed it from last year. <laughs> All right, they do get the first down at the 21. First and 10 Royals right there are going to try to take advantage of the fumble here. So we're even on turnovers now. Sasser in the shotgun, wide out on each side. He'll take the snap. He'll get it. Uh, Stevens on a stretch play. He miss, makes one man miss. He's over to 15. He's over to 10. He's inside the 10. He's around the five-yard line, brought down at the five. It's going to be first and goal, Blickley, right there, right around the five-yard line. Earlier, he was rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, and fell down. That time, he was spinning. <laughs> spinning him, yeah. And he broke a tackle right out of the scrimmage that sprung him. They finally got a hold of him and were able to corral him, but he was spinning to the end. First and goal from the five. So, Blickley quickly up to the line. Sasser in the shotgun, twins to the right. Nobody to the left this time. They're running a tight end. He'll take the snap. He gives it to Stevens on the read again. He's up the middle, down to around the two-yard line. It's going to be second goal right there, and we got a little bit of push and shoving after the play. No harm, no foul. And it's going to be second and goal from the two now. Quickly to the line again for the Royals. Same formation. And he's spinning Mims out to as a tight end on the right side. And he gives it to Stevens again. Same play. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Buckley King. Yeah, he just kind of ran out of anywhere to go. Had a big pile. He had to jump he, he over. He leaped over the pile. And, yeah. Uh-oh. Extended the football. Uh-oh. Mims is slow to get up. That's not good. We don't need that, folks. 
I hope it's nothing. And he's finally back on his feet, maybe cramping. He is reaching down below his yeah, knee down there. Well, he's reaching at that. That brace. That brace, yeah. As Lyman, where those knee braces? Let's hope he's okay. One for the sake of him, and two, uh, he's got a big future ahead of him. <laughs> Looks like his braces come unstrapped. Yeah, and he's walking his, off under his own yeah, power, and he seems good. to be okay. Oh, if he wasn't walking under his own power, it'd be hard for anybody to help him off. Yeah, so that makes it 16-13, <laughs> to 13, Fordham on for the extra points. So the Royals do take advantage of the turnover. Coach Laster went out there to meet him, <laughs> make sure he yeah. was okay. There's a snap, sit down, kick is up, and kick is good. good. With 10 24 to go in the third quarter, Lefty takes the lead, 17-13. to 13. So our region this year uh, added Lamar County and Monticello. Yeah, and we lost Dublin and East Lawrence. Okay. Dublin dropped a single A, but East Lawrence stayed in double A, but they moved to another region. I think they but those moved. are the only two we picked up. You know, think, we had Putnam yeah. County in the region a few years ago, and we had Monticello. I think East Lawrence moved to the region down there with Jeff Davis and all those. Okay. Maybe region two, I believe. I'm not sure on that, though. I'm trying to update all my favorites on the app so I can find them. And uh, James, if, uh, if Kirby Smart and Nick Saban were here tonight, you think they would have cringed when they saw 65 on the ground? Probably. Because they both want him. Hey, they, they might be tuned him. in watching right now. They could be. <laughs> they both want him, and they both want him mad. And it's, we keep hearing it's going to come down to those two teams. But who knows? He may shock us all. Yeah, it'll be in October when he makes that yeah. decision. But uh, he seemed to be okay. Maybe that brace just came loose on him or something. But we'll find out. Anyway, Florida will kick it off again. And again, Lawson and McAdoo back deep. And we'll take another fumble here if we can get it. Looks like. Portal pushes the ball, and that's a high pooch kick again, and number seven will field it. He fumbled it again, and it's rolling back behind the 35, and we chase him down, and we bring him down around the 19-yard line. Boy, he fumbled that ball, and it rolled all the way back to around the 20, and we tackled him about the 19. Number 21, Caden Maxwell, was the one that got him and, and pulled him down. So we Crawford, kick it. Lamar's taking on Crawford. Uh, in Lamar, yeah. and they haven't got any updates on that one. Monticello is not playing tonight. So he put it on the 18, first and 10 right around. Again, number seven having trouble holding on to the football. But this time he did recover it. First and 10, Wilcox from their own 18-yard line. Now Stowe's in the shotgun. He has a trips to the left and one guy to the right, and that is thrower, number 14, in the backfield with him, the young guy that's committed to Kentucky. 10.02 to go in the third. Blakely leads at 17-13 to 13 as we took advantage of the fumbled kickoff to start the third quarter. And Stevens running in from three yards out. And finally the officials are ready and they'll blow it in. Stowe's shotgun trips to the left. One guy to the right. And throwers in the backfield with him. He'll take it. He'll get the thrower. Trying to get him on the stretch play. Trying to get him around the corner. We hit him right at the line of scrimmage. He's going to lose yardage back to about the 16. Good open field tackle there by... That was number 12. Number 12, eight. Eight. And he used his head because thrower was bigger than him. And yeah, he, he got he, low. He didn't hit him head on. He went low and got him. And went low and got his legs. He lost back to the 16. He lost a two, second down and 12. You know, and if he's going to Kentucky as a linebacker, I'd be careful running, letting him run the ball. <laughs> well, you remember uh, Charles Grant. Yeah. Stowe takes the snap. He's looking to throw. It throws a slant. It's batted yeah, down yeah. on the line. Somebody tipped it. He tried to throw a quick slant to number 15. That would be Lagan Luke. Or Lagan Luke. How do you pronounce it? Where, where did Charles, Charles Grant play his high school ball? Charles Grant played his high school ball. At Miller where? County. Miller County. Yeah. That's right. Charles Grant, remember, he played running back a little bit at uh, up at George, carried the ball a few times for Donnan. And, yeah, he was so big. Yeah, he got – I think he took one hit that Donnan didn't really like, and then he never carried the ball again. You know, Charles Johnson played a little running back quite a Hawkins. Yeah. Show. He never did it at Georgia, but he did a little bit at Hawkins. Show. Yeah. All right, third and 12 now. Big third down here for the Royal defense. We can force the punt. Stowe in the shotgun. Twins on each side. Throwers in the backfield with him. He takes the snap. He's looking to throw those. Come back screen over behind the line. We missed him behind the line, but now we hit him right out the line. He's not going to get anything. Run out of bounds around the 16 yard line. They're asking for a late flag, but they were not going to get a flag. Yeah, they, 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 they hit him in bounds. bounds and they all yeah. fell out of bounds. And it's going to be fourth down right there. That was uh, number seven, Wilcox, Tyler Wilcox, who had the uh, first contact, couldn't wrap him up. That was number 19 on the reception of. Uh, Oh, uh, if I can find his name here. Singletary. Uh, oh, Singletary. So, Night fourth time. down and 12. They're going to line up the punt. We were running guys on late. Stowe was standing by his own two-yard line. 
Good snap. We come after it. We don't get it, though. High short kick. Nobly calls fair catch at the 41 of Wilcox, and we'll have great field position here for the Royals. I think he was actually at the 42, but they gave him the 41. And he kind of made a running catch. He kind of dangerous, yeah. but he did hang on to it. Well, considering he dropped one earlier. <laughs> so, you know, when you get a score quickly like that and then a three and out, that's just what you want. Absolutely. Uh, another score update, Dodge 26, Dublin 14 in the third quarter. Got 17 to 13 here. Uh, according to Mr. Kevin Carr, Dodge had a 93-yard interception pick six. Okay. So, Dublin was apparently was was driving in the score and then threw a pick six. But you'll take them as you can get them. First and 10 from the 41 of Wilcox now. And Mims is back on the field, so he's okay. He's back at his left tackle spot. He's actually out of the tight end position right now. He sure now. is. Sasha takes the snap, gives it to Butler on the read, and nothing doing. He might have lost the yard back to around the 42-yard line. And uh, Owens has made several tackles, number 10 right there. Lost the make it second down so he's playing a pretty good game for them. And they lost two back to the 43. It's going to be second and 12. And our uh, our lineman gets a shout out every now and then, so I'm gonna try and get their names in here. I know 76. Um, I can see is listed at right tackle. That's uh, Colin Kite. There's a hard count, and we had them all size, but our guy moved first. And as soon as I call him, <laughs> yeah, our, our right guard moved. Or we would have had them all size on the center is number 57. It's uh, Connor Brady. Make it second down and 17. I'm sorry, center 68, Beau Dubois. Right, uh, right guard is number 57. Um, well, I missed, I split one. It was actually yeah. a right tackle, yeah, 76, right tackle. who moved early. Um, well, they had Mims at the tight end. I was some reason thinking he was tackled, but he was actually at the tight Zed end. Zed Dubois, here. who's also our long snapper, is at uh, left guard. So second and, and 17 Mims at tackle, now. left tackle. After the penalty, Butler goes in motion. Sasser takes the snap, looking to throw it. Throws over the middle, complete to Eli Mullis. He breaks the tackle, he's on the 40. Breaks the middle tackle, the 35 to 30. Still on his feet. He's still going. Did he run him down? No, he didn't. Did. He's still going. He's all the way down inside the 20. Eli Mullis, some tough running there, breaking tackle after tackle. And he run over a guy right at about the 25. And he broke a tackle, a great break of a tackle, and then had a stiff arm that yeah, just shoved the guy away. away. He still called one guy in the middle of next week. He was watching the guy coming from behind him to hit him. And when he, he, when he, he did, yeah, he kind of left his feet uh, for a little, for a second, got his hand down and his feet back down. Yeah, right around the 25-yard line. That was a big lick. I thought he was down, yeah. but he kept going. His first and 10 from the 19. Mullis just went right over the middle and sat down, and Sasser hit him right in the numbers. First thing, 10 from the 19. Sasser, a delayed handoff to Butler. He's trying to break one tackle. He can't break the other one from thrower, and he's run out of bounds around the 22-yard line, and it's going to be a loss of about three on the play. Well, it's tough to break a tackle for number 14 right well, there. And, and he wrote him down out of bounds, but the uh, side judge there just marked him, or kept the clock rolling, even though he went out of bounds. Well, they call his oh, there comes a late right. flag. Yep, I could guess who that's on because he was one of our guys was in the middle of their. Uh, yeah, no, this go. Yeah, look, the referee's looking at us. Well, no, he's actually them. pointing at Wilcox. It was after well after the play, dead ball, personal foul on Wilcox. So that's going to be a big break. I'll say, that was number 15, Jacob Johnson, who was coming back still from being downfield. Yeah, I and, thought it was um, going to be on him. I thought it was, too. And So, uh, the official still talking it over you even after the statement. Well, it says it was on the coaches, but, uh, okay. And they do mark it off against Wilcox. It will go half, half the, the distance. distance from the 21 to the 11. And it will not be automatic first down. It will be second down in about a yard and a half from right there. About two, really. they got to get to the nine. With 7.35 to go in the third quarter, Blickley leads at 17-13. to 13. Wait a minute, that was first down. It should still be first down, right? No, because we got the... Uh, That's right, we, we lost yards on the we first play. Yeah. Second and two, Sasser in the shotgun. And a false yeah, start on Blake. Start. Start that will back us up five. I'll make it second down and seven for Blake Academy. And again, we're really hurting ourselves. Yeah, it's second and two at the 11, and I didn't see who moved it. It looks like on the far side over there, maybe. 26, 26 kind of went out to the parallel, but I don't know if they called that one or not. And the penalty's back to just outside the 15 yard line, just inside 15 and 16. And 7-14 to go here in the third quarter. 17-13, Blakely leaves it. Now Sasser's in the shotgun. Twins to the left. 
Butler's in the backfield with him. He'll take the snap. He gives it to Butler on the read. He's trying to bounce out. He can't break that. He does break one tackle. He's still on his feet inside the 10. He may have a first down. He does right around the 7-yard line, or around the 8-yard line, rather. It's going to be first and, 10, first and goal, Blickley, right there. He broke a tackle off the line of scrimmage and kept those feet moving. And let's see, they spotted at about the 8, maybe just inside the 8. Closer to the seven, looks like. First and goal. First and goal at the seven yard line. Sasser in the shotgun with Stevens behind him. Two wide outs to the right. He'll get Stevens on the read. Stevens inside the five, gets tripped up. His feet went airborne, but he's inside the five, down around the three. He's going to be second and goal right there. The Royals threatening to open up the lead a little bit here. 6.35 and counting in the third quarter. Get it to the line again. Second and goal. Sasser gives it to Stevens on the read again. And this time he hit right at the line. He might have got a yard two to two, and that's going to be it. Looks like marking about two and a half, actually. It's going to be second, and, a third and goal right there. Yeah. And yeah. The and three. Three. And we're sending in the big beef here. Shout out to Andy Brand, who's listening. It says, great job, as always, to both of us. So. Who? Andy Brand. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Thanks for uh, listening, director. Yep. All right, we're going to the heavy package here. Sasser out wide left. Uh, Stevens in the... Wildcat, he takes the snap. He's going to run behind the big boys. He stripped up, no gain. He didn't score. Yeah, just no two blocks on that one. And no gain. It's going to be fourth to go right here. What do you do, Coach? Well, looks like uh, he's going to lead the offense on the field. Yeah, I mean, a field goal gives you well, no, here comes the field goal, yeah. The field goal is going to give you a touchdown lead. And, you know, at this point, that's kind of where you want Yeah, and you want to take the points where you got them if you, you know. I mean, you're sitting three yards out, so. Well, he was calling for field goal, and. Sasser will hold it right at the 10, pretty much an extra point. It's right in the middle of the field, too. Yeah, coach was a little bit upset because he was calling for the field goal and couldn't get him, couldn't get him moving. We're down to 10 seconds on the play clock. We're going to have to hurry a little bit. We finally line up. Sasser will hold it right at the 10. It'll be a 20 yard attempt. There's a snap that's set down. Kick is up, and it is good. Plenty of leg. And uh, we're going to get it. 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 So, Blakely leads it 20 to 13 now with 5.06 to go in the third quarter. And, uh, yeah, Fordham got hit and went down, but no flag on the play. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I didn't see him get get hit. I was watching the ball, but I saw him roll over as it came back. And, and the official went and said something to one of the Wilcox players. may have said, hey, you know, you're close to getting one, so you better watch it. But. I don't, I don't know if you said that or not. But. You can't go say that. you got to just call it. Yeah. <laughs> you either get it or you don't. It yeah. ain't close. <laughs> Fordham did go down, but the official right there with no flag on it. It's 5.06 to go in the third. 20 to 13, Blakely leads it. Well, the thing is, it's not going to be an automatic first down if it was roughing the kicker or anything like that. Well, roughing the kicker is automatic. Oh, it is? Okay. Just like roughing the passer. All right. That's right. If it was okay. running into, run into it, it wouldn't have so. been, but... He call either one, so. maybe, he, maybe he was thinking it would have been running into and so he wasn't going to call it. Yeah. All right, Fordham will kick it off. Back deep is Lawson and McAdoo again. I doubt he's going to kick it to him. I'd kick it to number seven again. He's going to fumble twice in a row. But we got the second one back. Fordham will kick it off from the 40 yard line. Hey, if you got something that's working, just keep going with it. <laughs> And again, a high, short pooch kick. Number seven will take it at the 36. And he hangs on this time. He hit it about the 37. He juggled it Actually a little about bit. about the 31, rather. He caught it on the 26. I said the 36. Yeah. He did juggle it just a little bit was able to corral it. He got it to about the 32-yard line, maybe. be first yeah. and 10 Wilcox right there. 5-0-1 to go in the third. And ever since that long punt return from McAdoo, we have kicked it away from him. Uh, and that's a pretty smart move. Oh, yeah. You'd rather let him have it here than over midfield. Uh, he's the one who yeah, got, uh, got him behind for the touchdown earlier, too. All right, first and 10 from their own 32 now. Stowe in the shotgun. He'll split two wide outs to the right, one to the left, and looks like Moore in the backfield with him. He takes the snap, and he'll give it to Moore on the read, and he's hit right at the line. He's trying to break free, and he falls forward to about the 34-yard line. Yeah, he a couple guys hit him right off, and he just bounced. He, he tried to bounce it outside and kind of rolled out that way. And Actually, that was Lawson, not Moore. No, it was actually two. Larkin. Number six, Larkin. Yes. Second and eight from the 34-yard line. They're still jumping around, and they're ready to run the play. They go quickly and try to hard count, but we don't jump. 20, 23 seconds on the play clock, plenty of time. We reached the 425 mark. 
Stows in the shotgun, second down and eight. He takes the snap now. He's dropping straight back to throw. He's under a rush. Willie Harris trying to chase him down. We got another guy chasing him. Willie finally runs him out of bounds. He throws. Incomplete. Step Nobody out of bounds. Caught him, caught him did out he of say he stepped out of bounds? Yeah. I think he did. The official said he went out of bounds. Yeah. So he threw it. Back at the 25 yard line, it's going to be a loss. I couldn't tell. I thought it was number five, but do we have a five on the field? Willie, yes, we do. Number five, uh, Willie, Willie Zach Harris Stanley was chasing him, but couldn't yeah. catch him. <laughs> Stanley dove at him, but couldn't get his foot. Couldn't get his foot, and then Harris was right there at him. And Harris, smartly enough, pulled up so he didn't get a penalty called on for a late hit or anything. And he stuck out of bounds at the 25 yard line, so that's the loss. It's going to be third down and. Well, the 25 yard line, he was looking at throwing to the left where he, he kind of had a mismatch with uh, number four, TJ Mays. Down, third down, about 17. Stows in the shotgun. He takes the snap. He's looking to throw. Throwing fate. Long pass down the left sideline. It's incomplete. Flag down. That's going to be interference on Blakely. He never turned around and looked for the ball. and if the ball was underthrown and number six for Blakely, uh, Jenkins, Jenkins never turned around and made contact, so that's going to be, but it's not automatic first down yeah. and it'll only be 15 yards, so it's still going to be third down. Yeah. Because they had to go 17 for the first. So, so they, um, so no first down. It's going to be third down and two from the 40. So they were trying to run that same play on the previous play, yep. and it just got too much pressure from the left side. He didn't have time to wait. So Stowe in the shotgun, third and two. He takes the snap, and he fakes, and he throws a slant over the middle, and it's incomplete. He had a man, number 19, on the slant right around midfield, and he just dropped it. Jenkins was right there for the tackle. If he had caught it, he did just drop that one. It is hands and yep. went straight down. That was Singletary. It just... Butterfingers locking to because he was there for the slant. <laughs> and they're going. I heard the coach say punt team, but I wouldn't trust a punt here on fourth and two from their own 40, but we'll see. Stowe, the quarterback, hits the punter. And we're not going to send anybody back deep, at least not real deep anyway. Yeah, it looks like Jenkins is going to go back Jenkins will deep. finally go back deep. Uh, maybe a, kind of a punt safe here. 358 to go in the third. Blicker leaves it. They're short of play coming out. They run a man on late with 15 seconds on the play clock. They're going to have to hurry a little bit. Jenkins standing at his own 25. Stowe standing at his own 27-yard line. And we do play kind of safe here. There's the punt. Ah, pretty good punt. Going to come down around the Blakely 30 and takes a royal bounce backwards. And now it takes a Patriot bounce to about the 29. So the Royals will take over first and 10 from the 29-yard line. Yeah, that, that was kind of a no, no, gain, no pain, no gain on that uh, when that ball landed because it came back about a yard or two and then it rolled forward about a yard yeah, or so two. It so it evened out, didn't it? Yeah, so no loss, on no nothing gained by letting that one go. Yeah, they marked it on the 28, actually, so it'll be first and 10 at the 28. 345 to go in the third quarter. Blakely leads it 20 to 13. I want to give a, a shout out to um, our internet provider, uh, Chris Nobles at NoblesNet. Helps people get internet who can't get internet. 478 308 0596. Again, Chris Nobles, NoblesNet. 478 308 0596. Yeah, if you live out in Boonies or somewhere where you can't get internet, give Chris a call. Sasha takes a snap, gives it to Butler on a stretch play, and he's hit behind the line and you know, lose yardage. Back to about the 23-yard line. Boy, we lost about five yards. That was number six, Larkin, on the stop. The last of five to make it second down and 15 uh, for the Royals. I'd like to make a shout-out, James, to Coach. Our, used to be our coach here, Coach Sam Bars, and his wife, Miss Debbie. I don't know if they're listening tonight, but Miss Debbie is, in, is going through some serious medical issues right now. And out of respect for their family and their privacy, we won't go into details. But thoughts and prayers with Miss Debbie Bars tonight. Sasser takes the snap. He's wanting to throw. Throws over the middle. Eli Mullis is complete up to the 30. Still on his feet. Stretches over to 35 to about the 36. Yeah, Same play he ran a while ago. Yeah, Mullis. And it's open. Know, yeah, he absorbed that hit. You know, two guys are still stretched it forward for another three yards. They mark it on the 35. It's going to be third and three. That play he's open, wide open two times in a row there. He just goes over the middle about five yards and just sits down or squats, as they say. Yeah. So third and three now. They got uh, somebody cramping. It's number 10. Yeah, we got it seen back there. So Branson Owens. Yeah. And he has been making some plays for them. Now. Yeah. But it does look like a cramp. It is, yeah. So injury timeout here. But, again, uh, again, our bit, our uh, thoughts and prayers go out to Miss Debbie Bars tonight. Uh, just hope you get well soon. 
Cook Spars and uh, family uh, been here for a long time. Cook, Cook Spars used to be the coach at Blakely County, retired a few years ago. And uh, they were a good family. And you know them, come out and just you know, speak to them because they are going through a, a tough time right now. So it's third and three for the Royals. We had 2.50 to go in the third quarter, and it's 20 to 13. Blakely leaves it, and uh, like I said, Owen's cramping up. Talk real quick about um, next week. Um, Max Prep shows the game still being in South Atlanta or in Atlanta. It is going to be a Max Preps is really bad this year. Man. Their rosters are horrible. Hey, like I said, his schedule is not right. I don't understand what you're doing. It's not Max Preps. It's not Max Preps. It's not Max Preps. It's not Max Preps. Usually they're just pretty reliable. Though. Yeah, it, it, it usually is. Sasha gives it to Stevens on the read, and he's going to close to the first down. It depends on the spot. It's going to be just over the 33 yard line. I mean, the 38 yard line. They had to get to the 38. Boy, he was barely out of the middle. And 235 and counting now. First and 10 Royals from their own 38. I will say for those that are uh, trying to see the screen a little bit better, if you cast it to your TV and get a bigger screen, it's, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Sasha gives it to uh, Stevens again on the read. And he's still going up the middle, but they finally knock him down. There comes a late flag. Mills is blocking downfield, and they're calling it yeah, late Mills flag. Yeah, Mills, he was just blocking downfield, and he, he nailed the kid, and it wasn't late, but they're going to call it late. Well, that was just a clean block, folks. <laughs> number 42 that got blocked. He's only 5'9", 175, so it looked a lot worse than it was. Yeah, he just cleaned <laughs> his clock, and... The fans were upset, but that's just a clean block. <laughs> I hate it, but it was. Uh, there was no gain on the play by uh, Stevens. I mean, it might have come right after the whistle or about the yeah. time of the whistle, but it wasn't. Yeah, and Coach Lasseter's really giving him an earful because that was just a clean play. I don't care what you say. I mean, if you look at the size, that was number 42 that he hit. 42's 5'9". Mims has yeah. 11 inches on him. Yeah, 42's not going to block Mims. He's not going to do it. Well, we go from a clean block to a bogus penalty. <laughs> that was nothing dirty about that at all. That was clean as it comes. And uh, Coach Lasher's Coach called a timeout. Yeah. He's still giving the white hat a near. He wants a timeout so he could talk to the white hat. I yeah, think. Yeah, that was that was horrible. That was, I mean, you could see it. He was just driving him downfield and knocked him on his can. It's point of the official that made the call. It was it was not late at all. Yeah. It was clean. Well, it's, it's like if you had Manute Bowl and Muggsy Bogues, and Muggsy Bogues comes to make a layup, yeah. Manute Bowl blocks it. I mean, really? <laughs> I mean, that, There's a total mismatch of size, and Mims just got downfield and made a block. And I think mean, about it, it looked bad because the kid was so small and Mims is so big. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just, when you look at it that way. I guarantee if you go back and look at the film, if the official wants to go look at the film, I know he won't. He's going to be like, oh, He's wait. Gonna say, oh, boy, did I blow that one. <laughs> It's like uh, um, it's almost as bad as that SEC when it was missed about 15 years ago mm -hmm. in the uh, Florida Arkansas game, where they called it with a guy got blocked, that. and uh, they called they didn't or they called it on the wrong team, I think it was, and they called it on. Well, anyway, I remember we they got suspended for the next week for that. I remember that. All right, the penalty backs us all the way up to the 25 yard line. It's going to be first and 25. Uh, I guess it, I guess it was the dead ball penalty because the down didn't count. So first and 25 from our own 25 yard line. It's really not that far. We got to get to the 49. So first and 24, really. Sasha takes the snap. He fakes. He's rolling to his left. He's looking to throw. He's still looking. Throws out the flat. It's complete. Up around the original line of scrimmage. There's a flag down. We may have roughing the passer. Yeah, probably. Sasser took a pop. Mm -hmm. I, I will. I will say. I just went back and yep. to see roughing the, the passer. Yeah. Roughing the passer will be called. So that'll be added to the end of the run or end of, end of the play rather. So I saw the saw the replay on that penalty. There was a, actually there was a shove mm -hmm. and then another shove. So. So it's going to be a 
roughing the passer after the play was over. So that'd be added to the end of the run. <laughs> and apparently our, some of our fans are saying something, some of our coaches up there, but yeah. our coaches are right. They're still fussing about the Mims play. Well, uh, Mims blocked, Mims shoved him down and he kept running downfield and shoved him again. I don't know if that's why it was called or what, but. So the 15 yarder added on to the end of the run would go to Royals first and 10 from the Wilcox 47 yard line. It's getting a little interesting here with the uh, with the calls, by the way. Yeah, uh, it's going, they're probably going to tighten up the rest of the way now. Yeah. Two personal fouls almost worked really back to back. They were back to back. So first and 10 from the 47 of Wilcox. Sasser's in the shotgun, swings to the right, one to the left. He takes a snap, he fakes, he's wanting to throw. Going along down the left sideline, got a man open, but oh. threw it just behind him. He had number nine, Marquise Brown. He threw it just behind him, but that may have been a touchdown. And it's going to be second and ten. We had 138 to go in the third quarter. Blakely leads it 20 to 13, and it's gotten a little chippy and hot here the last few minutes. And the Braves have made a comeback top of the ninth, down 7-6. Seven, right, so second and 10, now Sasser in the shotgun, twins to the right this time. And Butler in the backfield with him, takes the snap, he gives it to Butler on the read. And oh. nothing doing, Butler's going to lose a yard or two back to about the 49. Yeah, that was number five. Be third down. Number five, Dean, who got in there and the made it time. The the play, so make it third down and 12. It's going to be third and 12 from the 49-yard line for the Royals with a minute 20 and counting here. Go with the Halloween music again. That's our third down, down go to. Yeah, big third down here. Uh, yeah, we're going to pass on the middle. Another may be a good play here. Third down and 12. Now, under a minute. Sasser in the shotgun. He'll flip Mims over to tight end this time. Twins oh, to the Mims right. covered up too. There's a snap, and he fakes. And Sasser tried to keep it around the left, and they're all over it. Nothing doing. And we're going to have to punt here. He faked to the right and tried to go back left, but they had a my guess, containment there. Yeah, my guess is that's the last play of the uh, third quarter. Cause yeah, we're down to 28 seconds, and the play clock just started. Yeah, so we're going to let it go. And with a seven-point lead, we're going to go ahead and take it to the fourth quarter, it looks seven like. Seven-point lead. Seven point lead, yeah. I wish it was three. Okay, the got with uh, runners on first and second, down seven to six, two outs in the top of the ninth. So that's the end of the third quarter with the score Blakely twenty, Wilcox thirteen. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting fourth quarter, to say the least. Yeah, the good thing is we're going in leading this time instead of trailing. Still Dodge County 26 14 from what I'm saying here. Swainsboro, Swainsboro is 14 7 over Washington County. Noah Dale and Moore and uh, Crawford game. every week and stay with the game. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. We do post on Facebook and Twitter every week, but the easiest way is go ahead and subscribe. Please subscribe and just click subscribe up in the uh, top, top of the page. And uh, so if you click subscribe, you stay with us and uh, be with us all season long here. All right, we're going to have to punt here. Rozier to punt. There's a snap. Low snap, but he gets it off. Pretty good punt. High. It's going to come down around the top 30. Bounce backwards and the Royals are down at the 34. To be first and ten and Patriots right there. Just starting the fourth quarter. Blakely leads it twenty to thirteen. 
and be first and ten one up from their own 33-yard line. I, I will repeat myself just in case somebody couldn't hear that on that last one. Yes, play, but if, you, uh, if you're watching us now and you want to join us the rest of the season, be sure to subscribe. We're going to travel everywhere this year, and, and Don and I do it, do it for fun. We do this because yeah. we enjoy it, and we yeah. bring this to you because right. we want you to uh, to be able to yeah, we're not gonna be in attendance. Yeah, we're getting nothing for this. We, we do it because we enjoy it, but um, – we want you to be able to stay with us. So subscribe to our channel, um, Blackwood County Royals Football, to stay with us all season. All right, Stowe in the shotgun, takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Now he's rolling to his left. He's under a rush, going over the middle of the field, and he overthrew everybody incomplete. And they're like their wideout moved early. Then. Well, no like a couple people moved early on that for them. That's going to be second and ten now. He overthrew everybody on that. He had a, well, really didn't have nobody open. But. Uh, he had pressure from Scooter Slappy there coming at him. and. He went down and Scooter went over the top of him. So, smart play by Scooter to not make sure, make sure he doesn't make yeah, contact. The way, way it's going now, anything near late is probably going to be called. Second down and 10 now. Jed yeah. Evans just subscribed to our channel. Well, thank you, Jed. Uh, Stowe is looking for the sideline. He hadn't got, can't get the play in right now. Two wide to the left, one to the right. He's in his shotgun. He takes a snap and he gives it to the thrower on the read. Thrower trying to break through. He breaks one tackle, breaks another down the sideline. He's at midfield. And we can't bring him down. He's over the 40. Brought down around the back of the 38-yard line. We had him at the line of scrimmage, and he broke a couple of tackles. And it looks like he may be down. Just throw her down? Yeah, Boy, they don't want that. That was one of their better players. He is committed to the University of Kentucky. and He's a three-star. Um, yeah. And he's down. I'm Cox. not sure. This doesn't look like cramps either, Judge, uh, James. Oh, this looks like something cramps. else. I'm sorry, two-star. He is grabbing his left knee, and that is not good. Wow. And uh, yeah, It looks like uh, they're, they're checking maybe his calf. Could be a cramp, but. Well, it could be now where they're looking at it. Uh, but he's well, reaching around. His... Coach Brand is coming over. Mike Brand and our trainer are coming over. Um, but they're heading back, so do not look like they'll need to help any. May just be cramps. We'll Dodge see. County, 33, Dublin 14, with 11 minutes to go in that game. And Thrower's back on his feet now, so maybe it was. He's running the ball for But he's still bending over as he walks back. Uh, Limping just a little bit. Yep. Yeah, may have been a little more than a cramp, but it doesn't look real bad. He's not favoring, and he's, not, he's walking on his own power. He may not carry the ball too much more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think he's going to Kentucky as a linebacker, yeah. so. You know, Wilcox County's had some big-time players come yeah, out of here over the years. All right, first and 10 from the Blakely 37-yard line after the big run by Thrower. He broke several tackles along the way. He's a tough man to bring down. Yeah, he did. He, he broke quite a few on that one. Stowe in the shotgun. He takes a snap. He fakes. He's looking for throws a slant. Over through everybody. Tried to hit a number four. That is McAdoo. Here comes another late flag, James. Here comes another late flag came in after the play right around the 30-yard yeah, line. Got somebody asking about stats. We actually don't have any stats. Uh, We're not keeping up see, with any stats up let's here. Let's see who so. this one's on. I don't know if it's on us or them. Dead ball. Personal foul. That's on Blakely. Because we have to rest this based on where it is. So, uh, we don't have any stats that we keep up here. Um, and the stats we kept on the sidelines um, or upstairs. And they'll be, uh, they'll be put on max preps uh, sometime during the next week. So you can check out and see see what people have there. All right, the penalty's all the way down to the Blakely 22-yard line. The first and 10 right there. The penalty's a perfect throw on this drive. And the line of clock would love to continue to go in the game. We're up 20-13, but... Got a breeze there. Pretty good breeze. <laughs> so the shotgun, and that is stopped again. Well, I'm not sure what this is about. Point to the scoreboard, so I'm not sure. Well, it was an incomplete pass, so apparently the clock should have stopped it. Put some more time back on the clock. Yeah, because it was an incomplete pass, and then the penalty was after the play was over. That's a good reason. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to put some time back on the clock or not. It's like 1120, and that's probably right. So first and 10 from the left of 22. Twins to the left, back to the right. Long count. He takes a snap. He's looking to throw. He's throwing a fade down the left side over there. We got a guy down there. They got a guy, and it's incomplete. incomplete. 
Boy, they had the hide advantage down there on our corner, Absolutely. didn't they? Absolutely. Huge hide advantage. And Singletary on the back team against number four from Blickley, who is uh, amazed that he's not very tall. And Singletary almost come down with that right at the goal line, but it's incomplete. Second down in 10. Stowe in the shotgun again. They put it to the line. He'll send a man in motion. It's McAdoo. Low snap. Stowe picks it up. And as we pick up, try to run it, and nothing going. He sacked back around the 25 yard line, lost the three. A yeah. low snap. I think they were going to hand it to McAdoo on the, yeah. on the end of the round. Well, that snap, that snap bounced to him, uh, bounced right in front of him. He was lucky to be able to corral it the way he did. The way McAdoo, who came in motion, was acting, he was supposed to get that handoff, but the low snap. McAdoo looks like that. he's cramping too, well, grabbing it, trying to stretch out that calf. The so it's third and 13 from the 25 with 10 44 and counting to go here in the game. McAdoo plays offense and defense for yeah, him. Yeah, he so. doesn't come off the field. Yeah. So. We're going to have to stop them two times in a row. You know you're going for it if you don't get it here. I do see that uh, their number 10, um, Owens, is back, has been back out on the field yeah. after he had to get And he plays both off ways. Yeah. He's at the takes back in a linebacker. Fight still in the shotgun. Third down and 13. He takes the snap. Drops back to throw. He's looking. He's looking. Throwing out in the flat. And we got a guy down there. It's caught around the five-yard line. And... Yeah, they just say he caught it. He fell down right around the five. It's going to be first and goal. There's a flag at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Illegal man downfield. They covered up the guy. They covered the up the inside the yeah. slot man, what they did. So that is, that all saved the big play. Well, I, I would tell you, their coach was telling the guy on the far end to move up on yeah. a couple plays when the other guy, the inside guy, was already up. So. Yeah, and when you cover that slot, man, he cannot go downfield. He's nope. considered a lineman. That's right. Three yards? Three yards is what he gets. Yeah, yeah. and that, that, that gets stretched sometimes. It does, it does but, you know, I mean, he, he was that, probably that, downfield. In the defense of the official, you just have to kind of guess at that because you can't. You don't got time to mark it off. Penalty back to the 30-yard line. Third down and 18, third down and 18 now. That's the illegal man downfield wiped out a big play for them. Yeah, so the third yeah. down and... Third and 13 is what it is. The scoreboard's got eight, but that's wrong. Actually, it's more than that. Third and 18. Third and 18, I'm yeah. sorry. Maybe the one's not working on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was working when we game. had the ball. So, big third down here. And going to be a big fourth down if you stop him. Stow in the shotgun. He's looking to throw. No pressure. Now he's going to pull it down. Now he's got pressure. We're going to sack him back at the 40-yard line. Big play by the Royal defense. Number 20. Christian Newburn with Newburn the Newburn on the sack. And it's all the way back to the 40-yard line. Well, they're going to give him hey, progress. Yeah, they gave him progress at the 37. Yeah. It's going to be fourth down and a mile from there. Now, will they line up to punt? Well, you got to think. Uh, you see yeah, Stowe back. Are. Yeah, they're so going to punt. I would bet they will punt and try and pin, especially with 10 minutes to go. Yeah. Well, we got three guys deep now. Well, two of them's going to move up. But well, they got a long way to make, a long way to yeah, throw it. Fourth so. and they're at the 37. They got to get down to about the 12. Low snap, but so no rush. He'll get the punt off. And they're going to let it go. Let's see if he can get in the end zone. And, yes, it will. The Royals will get it on the 20-yard line. He tried to pin it deep. He hit on about the one, but it bounced forward. So, a big defensive stand by the Royals there to hold them on a big sack there by Newburn. And with 9.41 to go in the game, Blackley leads it 20-13. to But a long way to go. And, uh, James, the last score ahead was Dodge 33, Dublin 14. Dodge oh, wow. kind of opened okay. up a little bit. I'm not sure how much time to do in that game. Probably around the same time we have. I would oh, think. So, uh, on the Braves, the uh, Darno singled to deep right center and tied it up. Freeman scored, and Ozuna's at third. So, had runner on third. I don't know if that's ch or where that is now. Okay, we Couple need a tenth now. We need a nine minute and 41 second yard drive here. I told you earlier we just needed five runs from the Braves, didn't we? Good points. Sasser in the shotgun. He'll give it to Stevens on the read. He's up the middle. He's got room. He's over to 30 and brought down about to 31. And uh, Mills was blocking downfield again. No flag this time, even though the fans I mean, are, it doesn't matter who he's blocking downfield. They're all going to look outsized. Yeah. You're talking about 6'8", and their tallest player – might be 6 2. Uh, it's also what I see on there yeah. is 6 2. So. There's a 6 2. Yeah, you're right. A couple of si oh, there's a 6 3. So, but still. Second and about four. Sasher in the shotgun. Takes a snap. He gives it. Stevens on the read again. He's tripped up at the line. He falls forward for about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. Expect a heavy dose of uh, running here. Uh, if nothing else, burn that clock. Yeah, you gotta burn that clock, try to flip the field. Third 
down in about three, about the 28 yard line. I mean, from the 27 yard line, I beg your pardon. We got uh, throwers coming off the field again. I don't know why this time. Yeah. And you know, if Mark Stoops is watching him, he's watching him. Isn't, he? <laughs> isn't it Mark Stoops at Kentucky? Or is it one of the Stoops? I think it is. I think it's Mark. And, uh, Mike. Is it Mike, Mike Stoops. It's one of them, yeah. Yeah. Mike Stoops, you're right. Uh, third and three now from the 27 for the Royals. 8.42 to go in the game here. We lead at 20 to 13. Sasser in the shotgun. Hard count, and they jump off sides. So we're going to get the first down, folks. Big number 85, Quay well, Miller. Going to to the Looked like they were bringing a uh, corner blitz, well, too. And well, that corner headed off, too. So. I'm sorry, James. I had to uh, check. Uh, First and ten from the 33 now for the Royals with 8:35 and they'll wind as soon as the chains are set. Sasser in the shotgun, takes the snap, and he gives it to Butler on the late handoff. He's trying to get around the right side. He breaks one tackle. He's over the line of scrimmage, run out of bounds on the Blakely sideline around the 37 yard line. Well, maybe. You, you remember what I said earlier about their number four, um, McAdoo, diving. Mm-hmm. And not making contact, wrapping up, did it again. He went diving, trying to make a, a hit, and didn't even get a piece of it. And it's at the 37, gain of four on the play, going to be second down and six. Uh, we may have some chain issues over as the chain is on the ground and they've stopped the game for a moment. Looks like uh, looks like McAdoo's using the hit stick. Oh, was there a flag over there? Place. I don't see a flag. I think the. Oh, it's like there. They're, they're going to have to. Somebody's hurt. Oh, one, of their got, player, yeah, one of their players is down over One there. of their guys went to the bench, it looks wow, like. Wow, he's all over near the fence where he's at. Yeah, he's he's under, it looks like he's next to And I'm sure Coach bench. Brandon is on that because he, Coach Brandon's really good about it. Yeah. He'll help either team. Uh, which most trainers do. You know, you're not yeah. going yeah, to kid lay, you're gonna let a kid lay down and hurt no matter if he's on your team or not. So we've got an injured player for Wilcox. He's back on his feet now, and they're going to have to help him off the field. That's one of their big men. Number 85. Number 85, that is Quay Miller. He kicked off for him, and he's been playing defensive well. Now. Yeah, he was He was chasing. He's trying to walk on his own. He was chasing, yeah, chasing he, that play down, and he just, I think he, uh, in a avoidance of making a late hit, ended up going into the bench. And he's favoring that right leg. And now yeah. he's trying to put weight on it, but it is really hurting him. And he stops right at about the hash mark. And uh, he's trying to walk off on his own, but uh, and he's trying his best. Looks, looks like hopping. it might be a little bit of a cramp too. Yeah, cramp situation possibly. His second down and about six. From and the, the shoulder too, the way he's got his hand clutched from their own thirty-seven, and he finally he's makes it to the sideline. Clock at eight twenty-three. It stopped on the out of bounds play. So they start on the snap. So we need to keep moving the chains here. Sasser in the shotgun. We'll flip flop two guys over to the left. He takes the snap. He'll give it to Butler on the read. He's trying to get in the middle. Actually, that is Butler. He's up yeah. to about the 40. Gain of about three on the play. It's going to be third down and about Game a long three, three here. Yeah, he's been in there about, about three, three yards. Or about two yards from where he landed. But. Ball is just shy of the 40, and we've got to get to the 43. So just over three yards to get Throw, to the first down. Thrower just ran back onto the field for them. Yep. Third down and... Three three yards and about the length of the football. 7.55 to go. The Royals in no hurry right now. We're trying to commit some clock. We can avoid third down. We can, we can avoid Michael Myers. <laughs> third down and about three. Sasser in the shotgun. A lot of movement on their defensive line. He takes line. a snap. He gives it to Butler on the read again. And he's not going to get anything this time. He's hit behind the line. Oh, wow. He loses yardage. I don't think he lost that much, but okay. We're going to mark it at about the 38-yard line. He got, up into the, he got up into the line of scrimmage and then bounced back. But I guess they're saying when he bounced back, he he went on his own. It's fourth down. We're going to have to punt. Fourth and about four now. Morning part has a seven-point lead and the clock's running. Yeah, it was 7-10 to go in counting. we got to punt it back to him. So our defense is going to have to make at least one more stand here. They got McAdoo back there deep. Yep, and uh, Rozier will punt it. And they're low. we're not really loading the line up. They've got seven guys up on the line, almost eight. they got a couple guys sneaking up there. And they got a guy coming in late, and Rozier will get it off. 
spiral yeah. kick. Going to hit about the Wilcox 30, takes a royal bounce inside the 25 at about the 24-yard line. And Wood down it right there. Right turn over had a decent, you know, it wasn't a tight spiral, but it had a decent spiral. And didn't quite turn over, but when it hit, it did get, you know, it got him about five extra yards off of it. So, and we've got uh, somebody down the ground. Is he stretching? I think he's tying his shoe. That's a, okay. That's what we got. He's stretching, tying his shoe. Or, okay. Tying his shoe. To the Bristol's concession stand at this time. First and 10 in front of the 24 for Wilcox with 6.42 to go in the game. So, the defense needs to make one more stop anyway. You just want to keep him in front Stowe of you. Takes the snap. Point point. Throws a comeback screen to McAdoo behind the line. He's hit behind the line. He's going to lose yardage. Back to about the 22-yard line. Loss of about two. Number five, Zach Stanley made the hit there. Yep. He read that down. play. They tried to throw the comeback screen to him or jailbreak screen. McAdoo's still struggling with it. looks like cramping on that right leg. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's finally going to He's calling to come out. Down down he's been down working down. on it last Five or six and plays. Goes in for him. It's going to be second and 12, loss of two. Actually, gave him the 23, loss of one, second and 11. And 6 10 and counting. Stow in the shotgun again. Twins to, trips to the left this time. One got to the right. He takes the snap. He throws it behind the line to Moore. It's the lateral. He catches it, but he's going to be hit behind the line, lost back to about the 21. That was uh, number 99, David Dent. Yeah, we were all over that. Willie Harris. That was a lateral. Moore just backed up when he snapped it. No, that's not a lateral kick, not Moore. I'm making hard. Harris, Harris not happy. Uh, I think he was, thought he was being held out there. And got in there to make tackle, and Dent, Dent came from the other side, and they sandwiched him a little bit. They mark it at the 22, loss of one, third and 12. 535 and counting here. So big third down here if we can force a punt. They do have three timeouts, so we get the ball back maybe. And there you go. We took a timeout earlier. I thought we did, but too. But maybe it was just because... Maybe it was an injury. You know, we well, were arguing to call about minimum. So, yeah. I thought we called a timeout, yeah. We did. We did call a timeout. They shouldn't took it off the board. Third and 12. Play clock down to five. They better hurry. They just get it off at one. So, throws a comeback screen to the other side. It's complete. And he's going to get a few yards up to about the 26. But that's it. That was Singletary. And somebody nailed him. Big hit over there on the far side. The Royal fans got up on that one. It's going to be fourth and about eight. They're going to send a punt unit on, it looks like. Daniel Shiller on the play, and that fourth down and eight. Patriots Pope with the uh, with the hit there. Looks like they are Daniel going to punt here. And Stowe will punt it, and it looks like Jenkins will go back deep for the Royals. You might want to play a little half safe. 434 and counting here. And we need we get this ball. We really need to pick up a few. The same things. person who ran on late. Last time they punted, it was running off late. <laughs> There's a snap. Stowe so will get it off. It's a short kick. Get out of the way. Right get out of the way. Yeah. Get out of the way. He hits on the 50 and bounces forward for the Patriots up to about the Royal 41. So not a good kick, but he got a good roll. And the Royals had him first and 10 from the 41. That, that, came off, that came off the side of his foot. It was like, he a, wanted it to. like a quill. I went for somebody yeah. to yell pull. And it's at the 41 with 414 to go in the game. They have all three timeouts, so we're going to have to pick up. A few first downs, we're going to run this clock out. 20 to 13, Blakely leads it. 4-14 to go in the game. We have it first and 10 on our own 41-yard line. Uh, the defense has made a couple of stands here tonight. They made a big one earlier right down here. Don, we've gone up, we got up over 152 viewers just a minute ago. Great. Keep on coming. Tell your friends. All right, Blakely up to the line. Sasser in the shotgun. Twins to the right. He has Stevens in the backfield with him. Probably going to get a heavy dose of him and Butler right now. And Mills will flip-flop back over to the left tackle. Actually, And now timeout. Yeah, time. yeah, the play clock was almost down to zero. So timeout. Time play play. Play. We're going to yeah. run the ball every play the rest of the way, I, I would, would think. think and yeah. they're going to throw the ball every play the rest of the way. And they got three timeouts. So we got to pick up a couple first downs to burn this clock. Well, they're going to burn their score updates here. Uh, I'll do the most. But Remind I everybody lie. next week the Royals will return I'm home and take on South Atlanta. And as we said earlier, don't don't be afraid of that name, even though it's Atlanta. They're a double A school. They're not big, big boys up there. Also be sure don't pay attention to the uh, um, Max Prep. Max for, or yeah. Max Prep because they still have that game as being in Atlanta. Um, but it was moved to Blackwood County. Yeah. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Chris Nobles at Nobles Net. Thank you for providing internet for us this year again. 
uh, helps people get internet who can't get internet. 478-308-0596. And we appreciate Mr. Chris, everything he does for us. He told me the other day, he texted me, said he does it so, you know, for these kids, and that's the right thing to do. Uh, Sasser in the shotgun, first and ten. He takes the snap, gives it to Stevens on the read. He's up the middle. He's got room. He's over 45 and tripped up, up around the 47 yard line. Gain of about six on the play. Boy, he didn't get tripped up. He would have got the first down. Because he opened up for him. Yeah. You just want first downs and move the ball. If you if it takes you two plays to get a first down and you move the ball, that's, that's still good. Three plays is great because you're still running clock. And we're down to 315 counting here and still 28 seconds on the play clock, so we don't have to be in a big hurry we're, here. We're actually out of the hurry up, and it looks like. And, and we got 20 seconds on the play time, clock, so. so we still got time. Sasser in the shotgun, second down in about four. Long count. He takes it. He gives it to Stevens on the read again. And he's got the first down over to 40, down at about the – over to 50, rather, down at about the 48. Big run by Stevens there. He got hit, but he broke a tackle. And they mark it at the 40 – just outside the 49. There'll be a first and 10. Blakely just shot at the 48. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, honestly, why um, – yeah, we snapped that ball to about 20 seconds to do. He take the ball to take off just a little bit more. And Sasser's got the clock right in front of him. But he's snapping it when the coach tells him to. Yeah, I'm not questioning. I'm just saying he probably think he wants to do it. Yeah, he's going to try and get it. Although he might want to try and score again. Yeah, he's going 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 to try and Stevens again, this time not much, maybe a half a yard right up the middle. He got hit, stood up at the line. Yeah, it looks like they gave him about a yard. Maybe second, second and nine. 248 counting here in the game. We lead it 20 to 13, but they still have three timeouts left. So Next snap has to be taken at about two. So we got to get a couple more first downs. Has to be. To burn <laughs> this clock. Uh, and I think they will start taking their timeouts before long here. Yeah. They may do it after this play because... We're milking the clock now. Two thirty. Play clock still has eighteen. So they got to snap. We we got to snap it by about two two twelve. Sasser brings him up. He's in the shotgun. Second and nine. Butler in the backfield with him. Takes a snap. Now Sasser's wanting to throw. He throws it here in the flat. It's incomplete. Oh. He had a man at the forty, but he threw a little shy. Got to save them the timeout right there on that call. Two two thirteen to go in the game now, and they still have three timeouts. It's going to be third and nine. And if we run the ball here, James, and don't get a first, you can bet they'll probably burn a timeout. Yeah, I mean, if we, you know, not keep, question, no, not second guessing or anything. You, you know, you run the clock, run the play there. They're going to have to use one timeout. Yeah. Or you're going to take it down to about a minute thirty before um, before you know you run the next play. So. But one thing about it, if we do have to punt it back to them, you know they're going to be throwing every play. Yes. So that should help the defense. All right, third down and nine. Sasser in the shotgun. 2.13 to go in the game. Clock stop. He'll send a man in motion. Sasser takes the snap. He's looking to throw. Throws over the middle field. It's incomplete. I got to hit down on this side. Yeah, right here. Here. We got a crowd down. Oh, it's going to be an illegal shift. Yeah, yeah illegal. illegal man downfield on Blickley. Oh. And they'll decline that and make it fourth down. We tried to hit Eli Mullis when that play right over the middle. But the guy finally ran it. We had a guy that hit Mullis right time the ball got there. And let's see, I thought they would decline this, but they hadn't given the signal yet. And they yeah, are going to decline it. it. It'll be fourth and nine. We're going to have to punt with two and nine to go in the game. Well, and they have all three timeouts left. And, and like we said, they, they really, we kind of saved them two timeouts yeah. just then. Fourth and nine, so the defense got to make one more stop. But then again, one of those could have picked up a first down and we could have been moving on. Milking the clock, yeah. <laughs> Blickley up 20 to 13 with 209 to go, and the clock is stopped. We got a punt from their 48 yard line. That could do standing back around his own 20. There's the snap. Rozier gets it off, line drive, kick end over end, and it bounces high. McAdoo comes up, but he backs off of it. And we're going to down it around the 23 yard line. First and 10, Wilcox right there. Long snapper Zeppu Wall is first one down there on that. He kind of caught that off the end of his foot, just put a little bit and got it. That looked like a kick end over end. And, um, it, it took a, a decent bounce. So they're on the 23. They're 77 yards away with two minutes exactly to go, and they have all three timeouts, so don't go anywhere, folks. we got a long we way to go. Minute, I didn't know we had a two-minute warning to stop the clock. <laughs> don't go anywhere, folks. we got a long way to go in this one. All right, first and 10 from the 23. Stowe in the shotgun, two outs to the right, two to the left. And that looks like Lawson in the backfield with him. He'll flip him over to the right side. 
Long count. His throw takes a snap. He drops the throw. He's looking, rolling to his left now. Going on down the middle of the field, and it's incomplete. Hey, almost caught right around the 45 by number four, Lawson. I mean, uh, we got a big grasshopper in here attacking. Number four, right McAdoo. He dove for it at the Blickley 45, but incomplete. Going to be second down and 10 now with a minute 52 to go in the game. And. Yeah, so they have three timeouts, so the middle of the field is still wide open for them. You know, they get they get five main options for three timeouts still. Second down, seven shotgun, twins on both sides. He drops, looking for him. He's looking again. He's going to hit him rush, and we miss him. He gets away, and he's still looking. He's wanting to throw, and he throws long, and it's almost intercepted. It's complete. It's going to be third down, and Stowe is down. Uh, he's, back he's, up, he's back up now. He's still down. Stowe took a pop uh, around the 10-yard line. It's going to be third down and yeah, 10. But we had him sacked, and he got uh, away back yeah, there. Yeah, Mobley cut in front of uh, eight, eights, and um, both of them got their hands on the ball, and neither one of them could pull it down. But that could have ended the game if one of those two yeah. could have pulled it down. All right, third and 10, Stowe is, he is really struggling. Now, he's hurting. He took a pop back there. But he's going to stay in there. Thurman's on the field out here at a uh, wide receiver. A minute 42, yeah, forward. A kid that's committed to Kentucky is lined up wide over here. Better keep an eye on him. Third and 10, Stowe in the shotgun. Minute 42 to go in the game. Big third down right here. There's a snap. Stowe looking to throw. He's throwing the fade down the right sideline, trying to hit throw, and he overthrew everybody again. Incomplete. That's going to be a fourth down. Here's your ball game, James. Yes, yeah, fourth down, you know, he's got to knock the ball down at this point, keep him short of the sticks. And, and play smart, don't hit late after absolutely. the play. Absolutely. All right, fourth down now. And, yeah, they have thrown that pass to different receivers all night, and he's overthrown it every time. He's, he's thrown it out of bounds every single one of them. They were trying to hit thrower on that play. Now, that one was – that one hit just barely out of bounds. Yeah. But, if you but get, most of those have almost hit the fence. If you get thrower the ball out in open field, ooh, look yeah. out. <laughs> Fourth and ten. Here you go. Here's your ball game. If we can stop them, a minute thirty six to go in the game. Stowe in the shotgun. We've got a three man line. He takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Rolling to his right. Flag and down. They stop it. That's a false start on Wilcox. Out of back up. Be fourth and fifteen now. The clock ran, but they're minute thirty three to go. Yeah, they, they started the clock. They should put it back to a minute thirty six. I don't know if they will or not. And they took away a timeout from us. Um, yeah, we've called but two. We've called two. Yeah. Fourth they still got us on the board for two. They still have three. Fourth and 15 for the Patriots now. Big well, fourth down. Even right if we here. can stop here, they, they still got all three timeouts. They can essentially try and hold us, maybe get a field, yeah. you know, force us to kick a field goal. That's going to be about their only hope if they don't pick this up here. All right, fourth down. Here we go. Stay in the shotgun. He takes it. He's looking to throw. He's in a rush. He reverses the field. He's at the five. He's running to his left. He's throwing long down the middle of the field. And he caught it. Make it. He caught it. Unbelievable. He got behind us again. All the way down to the 41, 31 yard line. Maze, Maze, the quarterback, fell down on that play. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that, that was, maybe that was Jenkins. Jenkins fell down on that play. It's at the 35. It'll be first and 10. He just threw it up. Far as he could throw it. And they call timeout with a minute 21 to go in the game, and they're sitting at our 35 yard line. If he did not, good, if he did not trip him. over it, well, that's the second time he's got, third time he's gotten behind us tonight, but if he hadn't run out of real estate one time at the end of the half, mm -hmm. it'd be a different different ball game right now. So they call timeout. First and 10 from the Blakely 35 yard line. Well, I, well, I don't know with a minute 21 why you call a timeout there and you know, get all you guys down and. Line up and, and spike the ball, save your three timeouts. I guess they were going to save it down, but yeah. I, I mean, that's another thought, too. It's a minute 21 to go. The Royals lead by seven. That was a, what was that, 27, uh, 42 yard play there. Oh, uh, fourth and 15. No, I'm sorry. 47 yard play on fourth and 15. So first and 10 from the back of 35. Patriots come out. You know, if, if McAdoo doesn't fall down, he scores. He fell down on his own. He got behind. Thank goodness he fell down. Yeah, he got behind everybody. So 
first and ten from the Blakely 35, and now the referee is sending more out for some reason. I don't know if it's an equipment problem, I guess. And number one, Lawson will come in for him. Man, how do you look? I don't think he had a mouthpiece. All right, stay in the shotgun. What it looks we like got to make right another now. stop here, folks. Minute 21 to go. They're on our 35-yard line. Stow in the shotgun. Trip to the right. One got to the left. There's that low snap. We got to hit him, Ross. We miss him. He rolls to his right. He's walking to throw. He's still looking at those. I hear it's caught up around the Blakely 27-yard line. In bounds. It's going to be second down right there. Clock running at a minute 10. I'm seeing a lot of uh, – Shoves in the back from their guys, and they're not being, nothing's being covered on them. But it's up to the 28 yard line, gonna be second and about three. There's a the snap, Stowe looking to throw again. He's under rush, and we hit him back, he throws. He threw it to a lineman. It was illegal touching. Yeah, yeah illegal touching. A lineman well, caught, caught it. I guess he thought it might have been tipped. Number 64 oh, called it, but he's a lineman. Well, it Back around be, the 37-yard line. It would have been a big loss either way. Should have been intentional grounding because he only got wrapped around him. He was yeah. he was outside the tackle box, tackle box but did not make it back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, but they're going to probably call illegal touching. It's illegal touching either way, and it's a loss of down. Yeah. That's Might big. be a penalty and a loss of down. So. so it's a big loss either way. Because it was back at the 37 yard line, and that'll back them up to the 42. It's going to be third down right there. Third and 15. And the down marker is not moving. It hasn't changed the down yet. It should be third down. He said lost the down. Yeah, it is third and 16. Yeah. So third and 16 now. With 49 seconds to go in the game, third down, third and about 16 to go. Or at the 41, they got to get to the 25. Yeah, he's telling him third. Yeah, okay. that, now they changed it. Now they got it. They had it on third and they changed it. So another big third down here. They wind the clock, too. 45 seconds. There's the snap. Stowe looking to throw. Now he's going to pull it down and try to run. Now he's back up wanting to throw. We got a guy chasing him. He's, he throws it forward, underhand, incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. He did have a receiver over there. He just that did. Throw yeah, the receiver went up and he tried to hit the floor. Yeah. He, under, he threw it underhand. Because he was being sacked by Big Willie Harris. Just swapped to his left hand, like, a la Eli Manning, and tried to throw it. <laughs> but Willie Harris was bringing him down, and he threw it underhand. We're up over 168. And he tried to throw it to uh, 170. Oh, 170. 170 viewers. Great. Stay with us, folks. we got 34 seconds to go, and it's fourth down and about 16 right here. And Chris Lasseter's going to burn the last time out here. Look, at we got a guy standing at the 15-yard line. You're not getting behind him. You better yeah, not. Hey, we... <laughs> We had somebody deep earlier, and they got behind no, that's them. True too. We, that, Lester, he wants to make sure we're all on the same page on this fourth down, down play. Down here. Yeah, you just want to. It's fourth down. You want to keep them in front of you, keep them short of the sticks. You know, don't let them get back behind you. I mean, if you keep them, if you don't keep them short of the sticks, they're still, you know, 34. There's gonna be about probably 25 seconds when the play's over if they scramble around and then throw it. So. And they're down to two timeouts, but. Yeah. And I was about to say to skip pressure on Stowe, but we had pressure on him when he threw that long pass while ago. Oh, yeah. Because we flushed him out of the pocket, and he threw it on the run. Well, and, and the thing is, even when we get the ball back, we're going to – we could take knees and make it run out yeah. because they only got two timeouts. Yeah, they can only stop it first and after second yep. down. They can't stop after third down. There's 34.7 seconds to go here, folks. We lead at 20 to 13. Wilcox has it fourth and 16 from the Blickley 41. They got to get down to our 25 for the first down. And we got a couple of guys deep. We got Mobley standing at the 15 yard line. And it looks like we're only going to rush three people. We may bring four. Mims is on the field. And we send 99 off. Fourth and 16. Here we go. Ball game again here. Stowe's in a shotgun, got throw in the backfield. We can keep an eye on that green man. There, number 10 looks like There's he's all shot. Oh, oh, Stowe looking to throw. Throwing long down the middle of the field, and it's caught for a touchdown.
First one um, way low and left, and he had another one that went. That was not good. Not a good kick. It looks like they are going to go for two. They got the offense in the huddle right there. But how do you do that? How many times well, Zachary got behind us tonight? And let's, made let's try some fourth down. That's how this drive. Yeah. Well, not just this drive, but try some fourth down yeah. for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. And now the defense has got to stop this two. If you ever stood up, you got to stand up now. They only got three yards to go. I'll keep an eye on number 14. The thrower is out there. And they're going to go for two. I would watch 14. They got him lined up in the backfield. They may throw it to him and let him try to run on a little fair pattern. So he got a really good run. And he thinks he's going to keep it himself. And he gets it. They'd run that play with him, but uh, we had him. We should have stopped him, and no way he should have scored on that. Uh, yeah, and we did not key on thrower. Yeah. You know, we, we had that stuff, but we also we should have had him stuff there too. So 25 seconds to go. Gutsy, gutsy play by Stone. Gutsy call by the coach. Yeah. Number 12. So he will we'll kick off. But we need a good return here to try to get close for a field goal. And he squibs it. And number nine, Jenkins. Brown Brown falls down on the 15 yard line. And the squib kick, instead of picking up, he fell on it. 20, 23 seconds to go. The world's now trail 21 20. And we're going to need some of that magic they've been pulling tonight. Right, to get into uh, Fordham's range, we got a long way to go, folks. And well, I'm only one time out. I think we got no time out. So. He took one from the 30. Um, he kicked one from the 30, so about 40 yards. Uh, we, need to get, we need to get around to 20 or better, don't we? We've got a long way to go. I, mean, I, think if, I think if we can get the ball down to about the 20. Well, he had plenty of range on that. If we get the ball down to the 25, we'll be in the other way. All right, first down now from the 15 yard line. Sasser in the shotgun. They got a couple guys way deep. There's a cap. He's looking to throw. There's a hurt cap from Pete to Stevens. He's on the blocking. He gets out of bounds up around the 21 yard line. They, they call him down. They in bounds. The clock is running because we don't have any timeouts. We can't stop the clock. We don't have any timeouts. Coach Lash is calling a timeout for the last 10 seconds. And they run the clock down to four seconds. They run the clock down to four seconds. The timeout was finally given, but he was calling it well before then. They're winding the clock. Apparently, we don't have a timeout. That's going to be the ball game, folks. Game is over. The clock runs out. 
So, looking forward to next week, we'll have South Atlanta. Um, remember, it is in Cochran, not where Max Park shows in Atlanta. It is in Cochran. Next, uh, next Friday, uh, September 18th, 7.30 p.m. in Cochran, Georgia. Uh, uh, if you can't make it, we'll be there with the broadcast once again. Yep. But, uh, Subscribe to the channel. Join us, uh, join us throughout the season. We'll be everywhere that the Royals go this year. So another tough, uh, tough, tough uh, James at the end of the year. Of course, this is not a region game or even a classification game. But at the end of the year, you're going to look back and say, a game we had in our pocket. Absolutely. Pretty much. That's no way to say it. Well, you know, you have these tough losses, and you just have to bounce back and come back next week. Yeah. And, and the whole part of the uh, timeout, no timeout, how many timeouts we've used. Yeah. And I really uh, thought he got out of bounds. Not that it would have made a difference. Well, he did. There were several plays where people got out of bounds tonight, and they caught him down just because contact was made in, in bounds, and that's not what it is. They're yeah. still moving forward. It's, uh, you know, out of bounds, stop the clock. But anyway. All right, we'll wrap it up and get on out of here. we got a little bit of a ride ahead of us. Uh, fans are starting to make their way to the, to the exits now. But, again, a tough, tough loss. Dodge County defeats Dublin 33-20 to 20 final on that one. Uh, so, Dodge County won the title the last week. But, again, uh, next week, James, we're back on taking on South Atlanta. Check out time at 7.30. Tune in right here on the YouTube channel. We'll have it for you. Uh, anything else, we'll pack up and go. I think that's it. I see the stands are getting in here. we got room to get through now. So, yeah, we'll uh, get out here and get, get going before the crowd gets too, the traffic gets too bad, too. So, once again, your final score, Wilcox County 21, Bletchley 20. We lose a heartbreaker on a fourth down desperation heave by their quarterback, but it worked. It counts. And we'll see you next week. For James Hagler, I'm Don Byron saying thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next week right here on the Royal Football Network. Good night, everybody.